light. Uh, we light. Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Wherein we were just fixing up our Prim stuff on the planet Stromhurst. We did manage to make it quite a bit smaller. Um, but there's a couple of items left somewhere. Not ent oh, okay. I am entirely sure where. Possibly the only one of them is actually. Uh, as it turns out, there is a lighted pylon substation that we haven't picked up way down here. Let's go get it. Give me some rocket fuel. Blue lightning, glacier wolf. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh yeah, I forgot we had tier 6 modules. Nice soup. Hopefully just one more flight and we'll be able to trim this planet down significantly one more time. Now why were we scanning Plato again? A uh, very large Holmanite planet, and since it's got that much solar power, I presume... Oh, I think it's in the same system, isn't it? Yeah, it's right here. Uh, this is going to be our... Um, our endgame Holmanite planet. And this thing has switched itself off because it found the last of the biters. We don't want that right now. I wonder if I could, like, keep up with the scan as it finds more biters. Probably not, I imagine. How are we doing for clearing Nalvis? Oh, wow. Yeah, it's getting there. Might even happen today. We've got three beams, two of which are right next to each other. Um, clearing Nalvis. I don't know if we really need three of them at this stage. Let's, uh, let's point this one at Plato as well. And maybe we can keep up with the scan. Maybe that'll keep UPS higher as we go. Onward to clearing out our old stuff. Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Gimme, 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 gimme. And then back to civilization. And then, trim surface, Scobix, good to see you again, oh, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. That's it. We did it. Nice trim Stromhurst. And that'll trim our save file and the amount of time it takes to save. Cool, cool, cool. Fancy tech card is taking its sweet time. I imagine it's probably got a resource shortage. Yep. What are we looking for to research this? Uh, Material 3, Energy 3, Astro 3, and Bio 3. Oh, okay then. And it's a thousand. That's actually going to take a little while. Maybe I should have done this first. Oh, it's a prereq. Never mind. Welcome, welcome, Fraser K. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Up 
we go. And I, I'm pretty sure we're done here for now. Let's head back to Hagen Audit. It's actually nice having uh, at least some of our endgame planets so close by that we're not going to need to use the um, the anomaly as well. It means if we need to fly over to it, we can do it very easily. I mean, not that it's difficult to go by the anomaly, it's just like one more step. Why is this guy not landing? Wait a minute. Stop. We've got two ships, at least, waiting to land at Stromhurst. Why does it have... That's very weird. Why does it have that on the memory cell? ID... 14. Should be ID 1. Let me just check back here. Um, core fragment for iridite isn't related to that number anyway. So I think they were dropping off... This one was dropping off barrel last time. I'm pretty sure the barrel system has worked. Oh, it could have it could have gone to the universal one. But we're not sending IDs to these things when they launch, right? Hmm. How the hell did you end up? with something on your memory cell. Maybe I sent it back here manually at some point. Maybe that's why. And I didn't notice. We'll just have to hope that's the case, I guess. Okay. That should be fine. Back to Hagen Orbit we go. I have expected that we'd have to rescue them somehow, but if that were the case, they probably wouldn't be sitting here in orbit. And probably this whole time we haven't been getting erudite core fragments because of whatever that was. Cool, cool. Alright. Um, what should we focus on next? What should we do right now? Where's our bottleneck here? For Holmium. It's not core fragments. Uh, it's not crushed Holmanite. I think it's the fluid here. Oh. Um, I think I forgot the part where we need to make sure we leave room to output this stuff. Because this, yeah, this is a design flaw. This comes out at purple speed and we never change it. I think I got rid of the old one. No, here it is. Wait, this one's having the same problem now. Huh. Wait, no, aren't these two the same? Yeah, I think we got rid of the old one. Okay. Uh, let's bring our construction train over here. And we need to make sure that these machines can output, preferably as a priority. And honestly... Instead of trying to be too fancy with it, I'm tempted to just do something that will absolutely and explicitly... Is that only blue? No, it is. Wait, is that okay? Probably. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine, actually. Um, you know what? Let me do it this way. This can go up here, and we'll do this up here again. 
And we're going to have a merger. And we're going to priority input from the left side. And we're going to swap... Uh, we're going to swap this for a long arm filter inserter. Let's get this out of here. Try not to pick up any items as we go. Nope, nope, no. Ah, oh, man. That's exactly what I didn't want to do. Sneaky inserter arm. And that should be it. So that'll ensure we can always output. Um, it'll slow down the belt if necessary. Hmm. How can I get this crushed fulminate out? Oh, it doesn't have the filter. There we go. And then... Like that. Fantastic. Beautiful. Um, and we need to do the same thing on this end. So right about here. That's where we need to remove our belt. Actually, let's just wait for those machines to finish. And that way, we're not going to accidentally grab any more resources. Should be it. Does that actually reach? Yeah, it does. All right, that should keep our holmium flowing. And come to think of it, wait, how fast is this? 16.2 per second. Oh, that's slightly more than a purple belt on each side. More than a half a purple belt. Uh, 97. Wait, what is this consuming? It's consuming holmium chloride. And the ratio... Oh, I see. Yeah, the ratio for holmium chloride is slightly negative, so we shouldn't actually get a purple belt out of this. That makes sense. Alright, okay. let's go back. Mad Dame Salsa, thank you very much for the eight months. Much appreciated. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Pardon my voice. Hope you're having a lovely day today. A few minutes till we're back at Hagen Orbit already. And I wonder if there are any other more catastrophic problems with our 
production chain. What's this guy doing? Oh, it's filling up with water. Surprisingly slowly. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Both of these are pretty slow. Okay. What's next? What's next? What's next? Um, wait. Don't tell me that was the whole problem with Holmium this whole time. And we don't actually have a core fragment shortage. I probably would have looked up here for the core fragments, though. Well, they're saturated. Okay. Well, we'll we'll want a bigger source of holmium eventually, anyway. I'll never not love getting wished a good day when it's a the middle of the night for me. <laughs> Time zones are wild, indeed. Other side of the ball. Um. So what are we up to here? What are we doing now? This is a good question. Got plenty of empty space here, so this seems to be working okay. Oh. 12,000 Holmium core fragments. Um... I did make a storage for Holmium here. I, I didn't configure it just yet. I think it was Beryl was the only one that we actually configured. Beryl... Wait, no. Holmium. Holmium. Holmium? Holmanite, rather. And we're looking for 20k... And I guess we can switch that on. Um, this one just needs a copy paste to configure it, and this one is simply a provider for Holmium. Holmanite. Oh, we still don't have a purple belt over here. It's like a couple of them missing. Let's go fix that. That should do it. It's a very good reason to like it. I like DST because it means I get to go sailing after work during the week. Nice. Wait, 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 what? Why are we not putting... Why are we not putting the... Purple Loaders in? We've got 209. So why didn't it get loaded? The train should be back in a moment. Oh, I remember. Figured it out. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Let's park you over here, and over here. And that, this time, should get all the purple belts and stuff placed. Oh, that's quite a few. Maybe even need another trip. No, I think we have enough purple loaders. 
but the bots don't have room to put this stuff back in. Which means they're going to end up floating back to base. With some coal for some reason. Bruh. Alright, this thing seems to work now. I guess technically I could have just added like one, two, three, four of these, but I don't like the look of it. It's actually not that much Holmanite. Oh, crushed Holmanite that cycles on the belt like this. Maybe? No, it's because we're out of crushed Holmanite here. That's why. Yeah, I, I do think those other belts were kind of necessary. Alright, cool. We are here. And here come the bots. Or, or not, I guess. Not a whole lot to resupply this time. Where's that big dump chest? This'll do. Maybe I shouldn't have dropped barrel, like raw barrel in here. Oh well. I need something to work on that doesn't require too much brain power while it's still hot. Um, of course, my diminished brain power is making it more difficult to think of such a thing. Hmm. I could do one of those upgrades for various systems. Like, we probably still haven't done it for blue circuits. Verzor, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. This thing still doesn't have efficiency modules. Damn. Boom, James. Oh, that's a lot of biters. That's a lot, a lot of biters. Damn. I think we'll stop scanning Plato for now. Alright. Um, once the train gets there, I'll jump into the editor. Otherwise, it'll drop us out of the train. In fact, where exactly does it drop me out of the train? Right about here. Okay. Um, so we need blue circuits. Oh yeah, this build was surprisingly complicated because of the sheer speed of it. We did save it, right? Basic lithium, advanced lithium chloride. Yes, we did. Did we build the thing? I think we did. Yeah, here it is. It's not as fast as it's going to be just yet, but that's a holy crap. Looks like we're not having trouble keeping up with lithium chloride, at least not yet. And that is no doubt going to Vitalik Reagent. How fast do we go through it here? 144 per second. And this only gives 126, so that's our bottleneck for now. But we'll probably run out of extract. Sooner or later. Alright, so we want... Basically all of this... Uh, we just need to upgrade the machines. And 
Do I want to do the uh, the crafting combinators to switch the recipe in case we run out of holmium cable? How fast would this go through all the holmium cable? Mm. Oh, I might want to update this little weirdness. It's not very easy to look at. In fact, maybe I could put this down here. Uh, I think the rate we're going to consume sulfuric acid, we don't need to really worry. We'll still probably be producing blue circuits slowly enough that we can just use a delivery cannon chest. Out of curiosity, does anyone know if space exploration is playable without biters? Thinking about trying it soonish. Uh, you can set it so that there's no biters on Nalvis, but they will be elsewhere. I don't know. I mean, you could always use console commands to remove them and stuff like that. That's at least an option. Alright, let's say we use the Holmium Cable recipe for our blue circuits. And this one actually might have us... Oops. This, actually, I'll design it for, for... From now on, I think I'll design for the highest tier modules. And change them back to what we're actually using after I make the blueprint. So we don't have to make another version later on. I'm pretty sure it's this many... Uh, six efficiency modules... So that is negative 80% power consumption, and that is plus 300%. So my first thought for how to lay this out looks something like this. Um, we're just going to... well, actually it depends on the rate. Oh, that's kind of fast. That's kind of a lot faster than I was expecting. 112 holmium cable per second for one column. Uh, and that's only to make 50 processing units per second. That's more than a purple belt. Less than half a purple belt of advanced circuits. Way less for rare metals. And... Oh, it's actually only three solids. I didn't realize uh, it wasn't four solids, so that won't be as difficult. Uh, sulfuric acid is still quite slow. Only 224 per second. Um, if the entire block was running. At the highest possible tier modules. So we don't need to worry about the shape of fluid flow, at least. I think I'll do some space pipes. Just because these obviously fit perfectly. Um, I don't think I can put... Wait. Is it... Can I put space pipe on the ground? I can. Okay. But space belt we can't? I imagine? Oh. No, we can. Okay. Uh, so, in that case, I'm going to be a bit silly and do this just for the look of it. Just for the consistency. Maybe steel underground pipe, since that looks a lot less different. Ooh, how about this? See how well this fits together. Uh, I'm pretty sure it won't, actually. Uh, we do have the belt space over here. However... That certainly won't line up. 
give that one a 7. And then, if it's going to be as close as possible... I guess that'll have to do. Yeah, it doesn't look bad anyway. Alright, so what are we looking at? Half a belt, half a belt, and more than a full belt for each column. So I think we'll have purple belt. Uh, advanced circuit, rare metals. The inputs are going to be the same regardless of whether we use the crafting combinators to switch recipe or not. Why did this stop? Oh, because it was already switched on. On is on the left, for some reason. Okay, so that can just go all the way down like this. And we'll need some long arm inserters to grab the holmium cable. And I would like to go 50-50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we're just going to supply two belts like this. Holmium cable. It's very difficult to see on the purple belt. too difficult. What's the... isn't that like three stacks? It's two and a bit stacks per second per column. Um, nine stacks per second. That might be a little excessive. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. What? We only need a train every 11 seconds to keep up with Holmium Cable specifically. It's fine. It's fine. Um, Mr. Ray Ray, Evil Pla, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Marcel, welcome in also. How's it going? Not too bad, thanks. So, I was thinking... Oh yeah, one of the reasons I set the crafting combinators to only update every, like, 33 seconds was so that it, the UPS cost would be negligible. We can probably indulge in this guilt-free. Oh, wait, can we even fit... I think we can. Let's bring that over two tiles. And sneeze. Alright, we're gonna go... We're gonna go... Uh... Won't discard fluids. Uh, empty inserters hands. Oh, where's the output gonna be? God damn it. Wherefore art thou output? Hmm. 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 So for the whole thing, we're going through less than one stack per second of advanced circuits. Uh, two and a bit stacks of rare metals, I think it is. Nope, it's just over one. 
and nine stacks per second of holmium cable. Output is overrated? Isn't output the whole point? Are the cables possible to craft on the spot? Hmm, I don't know. Holmium cable. That's not Holmium cable. Uh, here we, here we go. I, mm, I have my doubts. Then again, stack size 100, 2 to 2, without prod modules. Becomes stack size 50. That would probably help. Yeah, it'll probably be like copper cable with, um... Well... Hmm. I was gonna say, if I do this, I may as well give up the uh, recipe swapping idea, but that doesn't actually turn out to make sense. I could just have a Holmium cable build on the right side of the block. That provides to LTN and to this thing. That actually makes a ton of sense. Um, so how much... How much can we make here? Two, three... That's about the limit. Uh, holy crap. Um. Yeah, that's pretty fast. 1.1k of Holmium plate per second. Um. How much was it exactly? One one two O, so eleven point two stacks per second. Except surely we're not going to be needing that much holmium cable. Well, we would need a quarter of it to support the uh, the blue circuits going at full speed. That's a train every like nine seconds or even less for the Holmium plate. You know, I'm thinking we may not actually need that much. It is possible. In theory. How much would this be? 1k per second is still... Uh, 11.2 belts. And we need like, 4 belts to support this blue circuit. Hmm... Okay. Probably don't need to go that extreme. Oh, this is 200 processing units per second. Two stacks per second. It's actually quite a lot. This is probably going to be the, o the only build that we need. For these things. That's the idea. But where's the output gonna go? Whoops. You know what? Do it like this. Whoops. And... Uh, 
this can go here. Cool. You know what? Blue belt. It's way faster than enough. So if we do the same thing on the opposite side, that one at least is fine. Uh, it looks like we don't have enough room. We just need to move this over one more tile, which we can do. Sort of just enough room. We could use one more tile over here if we want to. Um, and then we just bring it all in here. So I think we'll have a drop-off for event circuit rare metals up here. And do the old easy in, uh, test input thing with the set filters blacklist. We might have to merge and split it. Uh, it's pretty slow, though, overall. So I'm pretty sure... If we just ask for, like, a trainload and a half of each... Uh, just ask for like 1.5 train loads of each, and oh, that's not gonna. Let's just do it like this for the test input, and it can all go in here, and we'll use that as our combined input chest. We'll need some filters and such. Actually, what's the overall rate for the whole thing? Uh, that's kind of a lot, sort of. I need one... Uh, let's see. I can get 90 per second, so... One side from each one of these filtered with advanced circuits. And then... Uh, I still need two of them. No, wait. Yeah, one of them can support... the rare metals. Uh, I'll just use I'll just use one on each side for both. I think rare metals. One blue belt is enough in the middle, I believe. So yeah, the entire thing only produces fifty. Oh, sorry, two hundred. Where did I remember fifty from? Two hundred processing units per second. So this is actually a hundred. Huh. Whoops. How much is this? Fifty. That's more than a blue belt. Um, I'm gonna have 
purple belt only for this part. As it turns out. And we'll need to do something different with the middle, I think. Speaking of which... So maybe I'll have to move it a tile to the right after all. Oh wait, purple belt is 90 per second, this is 100. Uh, and this one's 50 out of 90. Could literally just send a couple of these to the other side. Somehow. Can't really do an underground over there. Output looking too fast for the blue belts, indeed. Oh, this is supposed to be something simple to do. Until it gets cold enough to think. Oh boy. Um... Um, um, um... I could do... I guess I could... Hmm. I could do outputs like this. And then we wouldn't need that much sp oh. Where even was I going to do the outputs for these ones? Um... Oh no, yeah, no, that could have worked. This this would go here, and this would go here. But... If I'm going to do this, um, there isn't room for it this time. We could do a bit of both. Right? Except... Yeah, there we go. So, how many have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. That is 37 per second. That could just be its own belt, maybe. Need to test it. It's surely something or other that I've missed. Why is this one not working yet? It's got all four inputs. Oh, does it have power? Ye yes. Why is this not making a processing unit right now? I 
Okay, that was weird. No, now there's no red circuits. Um, okay. Trying to think of the best way to distribute this stuff. I don't really want to have to put a big container for these, but it might be the way to go. I'm pretty sure it's the way to go. Actually, that could probably... Nope, never mind. And then this one would go here, and then this one would look very awkward. Nah, uh, I don't like that. Can I not make this one work better somehow? How much do we need for one whole side? Slightly more than half a purple belt. And... Uh, almost an entire purple belt for advanced. So we should be able to... Let's see... What would be the neatest way to do this? I don't think it's possible to do it symmetrically. But... Next best thing, perhaps? Burgers and fries, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Not Steel Mage, welcome in. Twisty P, Blaz, good to see you again. Um... Well, if I'm going to have that, couldn't I just have that instead? That's more than enough, right? 180 advanced circuits. And we actually need only one belt for the rare metals. So how do I get them where they need to go? Just get this out of the way for the moment. Actually, that's pretty much as far up as that can go. How it goes? Yeah, not too bad. Apart from another heat wave when summer was supposed to have ended a month ago. Fairly decent otherwise. Maybe we could put this here, this here, 
and then I need two half belts from the red ones. Maybe we can do something symmetrical this time. So this would go here. And then... Kind of like that. Is that as small as it gets? It actually looks pretty cool. And then we don't need as much stuff over here. Got enough snow and cold here too. Sick of the cold. Sick of the weather I can relate to. Oh. Uh, how about, how about this one goes down here? And this one goes back this way. That's not where that goes. Yeah, I like that. That's actually pretty neat looking. And why is this one not outputting blue circuits? Because we don't have the... I think I'll... I think I'll do the input for this from the other end. That's going to have to go like so. And then something like this. And then we do the same thing at the opposite end. to replace this part. What what's in the way? Infinity loader. Okay, cool. So on this side, fifty per second. So we'll need to have at least some of them outputting to the opposite side of the belt. And this in the middle will be a bit more complicated. We've got one, two, three. We've got 10 of these outputting to the middle, which is only 31 per second. Uh, this bit's a little bit more than one purple belt. So we've got some of them outputting up here. Actually, you know what would be a lot easier and neater? And easier to follow. How much do two of these make? 12 per second. We literally only need two of them to output somewhere different. So I'll just do it with the last two. Guess I could use loaders. I 
I can't use loaders where we would need long arms to outfit. But a long arm and then an under uh, an inserter and then an underground here would look. Oh, how about how about like this? Don't even need one. That looks kind of weird. I don't quite like the look of it, no matter how I try to go about it. Oops. How about... That's going to be a lot more consistent. With the look of the rest of the build. Yeah, that's kind of better. Alright, so why aren't these things working? Because we don't have any... Underground pipe. How many towns is this? Eleven. Yeah. Oh, that'll have to do. I think. Oh, we need Holmium Cable for the middle as well. How can I do that? The exact same way I did it before, I think. actually fit what's well, doesn't actually have to be eight belts uh it has to be nine belts wait what how did i miscalculate that 112 per second oh no it's um i was thinking of stacks 448 over 90 is still more than four belts of Holmium cable. How much do we actually need? Yeah, more than more than one Holmium cable belt. It doesn't utilize the whole second belt, but yeah, we actually do need eight belts over here. Hmm. Hmm. One too many undergrounds for cables in the middle left side. One too many undergrounds for cables... In the middle, comma, left side. What do you mean? Oh, this thing? Wait. No? Was that it? Past the beacon. What? What do you mean?
Okay, I'm not going to be able to have my window open on this scorching hot day. Give me a moment. Right then. Can we make these fit? Possibly. It's actually looking pretty good, actually. I kind of want to put all the splitters over this side. Well, we probably don't even need splitters. They're going to come out of a big container or something. And be cool. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Nikiv Glob. Welcome in also. Here it's raining and around zero degrees. Cozy inside weather. Nice. I'm envious. Okay, can we make this work? We can. It's just going to be a little bit squiggly. I guess that'll have to do. Can I even fit like eight belts coming from this? Probably. How much input do we need going down the... M Holy crap. Uh, that's for like a thousand a second though. Four hundred and forty-eight per second. Literally one column, if I were to try to fit this many machines over here, can support this entire bill. Um, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. Um... I'm thinking, honestly... I mean, we we still have another Holmium cable build somewhere else if we even need it. But probably just one column on either side of the beacon for this should be more than enough. So we're looking at two belts of plastic and more than three belts of Holmium plate. I dare say that we can trim that down a bit, honestly. I will admit defeat. That's still f five belts of plate. Wait, what? I guess that's right. Hmm... I'd like to get it down to four belts of plate for input. That's 3.11. Okay. 350. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Can't quite make it symmetrical that way, but I'm sure it's fine. And... Give it plenty of space. How much output do we get? 315 per second is almost four belts of output. Uh... Why does it have to be five to four? The middle got two extra undergrounds blocking the second belt of cables. Oh, these. 
Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I I think there was one here and then I added one thinking that was a fix. Whoopsie daisies. Okay. So one belt of plastic in uh two belts of holmium plate in and three and a half belts of holmium cable out. We'll call it four. In which case we need to merge this one into these two. And this one into these two. Or or I could just give them all one belt each and merge them straight into this thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got six inputs up here. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we've got ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen outputs. It's probably fine. So let's put this down here so that I can just line that up like so. That doesn't actually work out as well as I hoped. And what about the train station pickup? move this over a bit if we need to. That really is a lot. This is where most of the Holmium cables go, I think, though. These don't necessarily have to be in straight lines. What if... What if it looked like this? Over a bit. Don't really need a splitter there. What's your current blue circuit consumption? The new build should set you up for the rest of the run. That's the idea, yes. I don't want to have to look at blue circuits again and, and procrastinate updating it. Not even once. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to... Partly for the aesthetics, and partly for functional reasons.
Yeah, that's fine. That looks kind of cool. How fast does this make? 6.30 per second. Most of which would go to blue circuits. If and when blue circuits are running at full speed. So net rate 180 holmium cable per second if blue circuits are consuming them. Um, I think in order to make sure it stays balanced... Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, first, 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 put it here. It's fine. Oh, this is actually in the way anyway. Alright. In that case... There's no, there's no belt that needs to be here. One, two, three, four, five, six, set. Yes, there is. Wait. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It starts up here. I could put this here just to make it more obvious. Uh, but that's really unnecessary. So we got one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Top one is missing. Not quite. Okay. So I actually want a splitter. I guess we could allow 180 per second. Or even more than that? Why not? It, blue circuits is not always going to be running. We can take up to 360 per second out of here. Hmm, that's like half. It's a bit more than half. That is four belts. I think four purple belts of cable for a half block that's mainly just supposed to provide to processing units is probably fine. Oh wait, but if I'm going to keep it balanced, it needs to balance to both of them. 55, welcome in. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Why don't I just... Why don't I just tell LTN... Well, if I tell LTN everything we've got here, it could get consumed by blue circuits, that's why. Hmm. It's not like I can prioritize coming out of this thing. I could have a separate big container to go to these two. No need for splitters out of the box. Well, I was thinking of it with just one of these going to both of these. That way it actually would be balanced. Put this down here to make it a bit more clear what's happening. So that's 180 cable per second that can go to the robot network. 
I mean the LTN network. Which just happens to be two less per second than the surplus that this block can produce if everything's running. Huh. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. How about like this? I think we can fit a two to four splitter here. Yeah, yeah, that's super easy actually. Uh, except of course we don't actually get the throughput duck. Hmm. One, two, three, four. How about if I put this over here? It's supposed to go here, actually. Okay, what's, uh, what's 360 per second? Sure. It's a lot for the trains to keep up with anyway. We can always make another block somewhere. Uh, except this should be a balancer, right? Do we even have room? We just barely don't have room. Uh, you gotta be kidding. How much do we actually need from here? 6.30 per second. Is 7 belts. Huh. Wait, what? Yeah, we've got like five belts on each side when we only need four. So I could share this one. Also share like these two or something, but that's fine. I'll do this for symmetry's sake. And then we can move this up a tile. And that'll be balanced cables. Going from here to here. Purple belt, indeed. Okay. So how much, uh... That's a lot of plastic and a lot of holmine cable. We need one belt of holmine, uh, of plastic. 17 per second. I think I'd rather use loaders for all the inputs here. Let's see if we can make a regular pattern. Hmm. It's actually pretty straightforward. But will it how much will it get in the way of our homium plate? Not a whole lot if we use undergrounds. Feels kind of like pipes. And then each of these needs 35 plate per second. Okay. Uh, let's start from the top. Uh, 
don't do it this way. We need how much? Two belts? Yeah, almost completely two belts of Holmium plate. So that would actually have to split off of uh, split off from it like a bus. And this one too. We don't need to rebalance it or anything, that's fine. That's 70 per second. 105. Which means... One belt can support the last two. So we can probably just do it like that. Except this will be taking... Well, I can always test it. Holmium cable. Holmium cable. And this one's plastic. Oh, wait. That's the final product, isn't it? We need, we need holmium plate. And go. Isn't the output of the box balanced already? No, it's not. Only if it saturates. Uh, but it's surprisingly imbalanced. Now, I'm thinking this probably isn't quite right. I could be wrong. In order to get full uptime... Why is the plastic struggling so much? Oh, because we do need... No? We only need one belt of plastic. Hmm. Is it just taking time to saturate it? It actually is. Because this can take 144 plastic buff it up in the inputs. Today I learned, no worries. So currently it looks like Holmium Plate is keeping up, even though this bit seems to be wrong somehow. Oh, maybe we do need to rebalance it. Well, there's already a splitter down there. Yeah, because this was only taking from the output from this. Um, that actually seems to be working. Yeah, that's full throughput. Cool, cool, cool. And that's halfway filled already. Fantastic. Uh, and we're actually accumulating Holmium cable here, even while this is filling up. Um, Alright, let's consume some blue circuits. And Holmium cable. And start thinking about what our input is going to look like up here. Oops. We only need two inputs, but we need them ridiculously fast. Especially the Holmium plate. I don't suppose I could fit... Huh. But if, if we had another station... Like here, then it would be sticking out. That wouldn't work. Hmm. 
I could just put some extra containers. What if we had like... Well, okay, I have room for six train loads between these two. Maybe it's okay to just... Plastic. Where's my underground? And a couple of holmium plate, like so. That actually kind of is begging for undergrounds. That's too short for undies. I could put it like this just for the look of it, I guess. Kind of works. Now then. Set filters. Blacklist. Might even need more than these two. So if I have trains bringing stuff here symmetrically, this side only goes to this side, and this side only goes to this side, and we only bring full train loads, uh, we shouldn't end up with any balance problems, right? Would it work to send plastic to the left bulk loader and holmium to the right? Mm, not really. I don't think so. So now plastic has to repopulate. Why is that not happening? Are we just too slow on plastic? I think we are. Wait, why would we be too slow in plastic, but not hold me in plate? Oh well, that seemed to do it. Gets rebalanced as the final output? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. As long as we don't end up in that weird situation where the last of some resources on one side and the last of some resources is on the other side. Um, but yeah, that's looking pretty good. Why is this thing not outputting at max speed? These two don't produce 90 per second. Oh, they... holy crap, they do. Whoops. Um, okay. Okay. That's... that's a lot... Uh, 63 per second. That's a lot of Holmium cable. Alright, 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 alright. In that case...
Can I just, like, put this over here or something? Does that look too bad? I stand by my statement. Which statement? Also, JD, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Alright, those all seem to be going full speed. We're going to have a hell of a time keeping up with this, even with our super fast trains, I imagine. But we're, at, we're not at tier 9 yet, anyway. More belt needed? No. I can see gaps in the belts everywhere. And all the machines are going full speed. Okay, so now I just want to add the logic for switching the recipe if there's no Holmium plate. Um, we're just going to have a decider combinator. If we're lucky, that's all we need. Let's see. Holmium, recipe Holmium cable. I'm pretty sure that'll be the one that makes... Uh, uses the whole meme cable... Oh wait, wrong one. Uh, processing unit. Here we go. Recipe processing unit. You can see the little whole meme cable in the corner of the icon there. So if whole meme cable is detected on the belt, Set recipe to... Oh, I just remembered we're going to need like an overflow chest and stuff. Uh, I don't want to. If I move this here, I could put an overflow chest here and all this stuff would get put back in. Except I think the overflow chest might occasionally grab blue circuits. thing I was wondering was if we give it both which one it, will it default to Let's switch this off first processing unit and recipe processing unit which one does it prefer if it receives both because if it if it prefers this one uh, the recipes the combinator is going to be a lot easier. Um, so, basically, just going to do some loaders like this. And that's going to fill up the Tolmium cable, isn't it? That's not going to work. The input side is the output side, so I have to make this happen on this side regardless. It does prefer the, uh, the Holmium cable version of the recipe. I'll just prove that it's not gonna, like, stick to whatever recipe it has. Once it switches back to regular processing unit. Wait for output to clear, yes. That fixes that problem. That might actually mean that we don't need an overflow chest. 
Because all of the inputs are shared except for whole meme cable. But what if a machine has a little bit of whole meme cable left over, like less than eight? Which it probably will almost all the time. Okay, that seems to work. I can always try it, I guess. No overflow chest. Maybe I should measure the end of the belt. So we're just going to have... Is that not going to update? We might need two decider combinators. With opposite conditions. Uh, if Holmium cable equals zero, output processing unit. And if Holmium cable above than zero, output recipe processing unit. Simple as that. And then the only question is... What do we do about the overflow chests? And why is this stopped even though it's got inputs? Probably because the overflow chest isn't there? I imagine. just get some water real quick. It sorts by higher number first, I think, the type of signal. Yeah, that's what I thought, but it didn't uh, it didn't change back to the other type of signal this time. It didn't have keep crafting till zero set, so that's not the reason it's sticky. Okay, so we ended up with Holmium Cable in here. That's not surprising. In fact, that's precisely what we should probably expect. I guess I would just need one more inserter. If we're going to do this. It's actually not too difficult. Can we do the same thing in the middle? I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty... Oh... Oh no. Hmm. If it's only going to be Holmium Cable... Big if... But if it is only going to be Holmium Cable that gets recycled like that... That could eventually get jammed in theory, but it's not... Not bloody likely, because we only change back to the recipe that... Uh... Consumes... Doesn't consume Holmium Cable... If there are no Holmium Cables here. In which case... LB room to put this on the bell. Hmm. I kind of want to cycle it back here, almost. But 
this is getting needlessly complicated for a little tiny luxury that's completely optional. On the other hand, I don't want to have a have to have another build in case we run out of Holmium cable. So much for picking an easy build to work on. Well, it gets easier to think. I could do like... Uh, I'm, I'm not happy with how much we're starting to add to this. But I could do like... Oh, there isn't actually quite room for that. Oh, wait a sec. Wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. Mm, nope, never mind. I was right the first time. When I was thinking of putting this chest in line. Well, I could always do some, like, belt logic so that we don't fill it more than a little bit. Homing cable less than 50. And I don't suppose, I, I seriously doubt it, but it would be very convenient if, if our crafting combinator worked from a tile away. I'm pretty sure it has to be right up there. Otherwise, I'll have to do a 2x2 two two chest just so that it, uh, like, reaches it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it is. Okay. Didn't we find out that we didn't have room to do that? Uh, I could always just have the middle ones never switch recipe. That would hardly be a tragedy. Won't the crafting combinator jam those cables in when the recipe changes back? Uh, no, you do need an inserter to put it back in. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, this one's not changing recipe. Right. So maybe... Maybe, maybe... Do it like this. Oh wait, no, that's right. And... Like this. Oh. Now we don't have room. I guess I could do it this way? But then... This guy's never gonna get any. Right? Okay, wait, I have a thought. I have a thought. If we have... Let's do all these inputs over here. as well. Okay. If we have a chest like this with all of its tiles restricted, not enough space in chest. But it's not even trying to put anything in the chest right now. Okay. Once again, I'm not sure why it's not processing right now. Right recipe, empty inserter's hands, and that's all. I haven't actually given it a input yet. 
Not enough space in chest. Uh, it's trying to drop all of this stuff off. Okay. So if we set it to processing unit. It should be able to switch to that. But yeah, it does look like Crafting Combinator respects the chest limits, which I was kind of hoping it wouldn't, so that we could have slots reserved for the Crafting Combinator and let the belts do as they please otherwise. And then we wouldn't need belt logic to control this bit. And then this could flow through here naturally instead of needing an inserter or something. I mean, I could put this up here. It's getting kind of ugly. Yeah, that's probably a better solution. Okay. And then... Now this thing's just taking from the belt. I guess I would have to put it here. I guess that's okay. It also means we get a uh, direct insertion for the stuff that has to go in really, really fast. Read belt contents hold. Chromium cable greater than zero recipe processing unit. Chromium cable equals zero. Huh? Why has it got no input? Oh, it's on pulse. Well, there's your problem. Okay, okay, okay. So then we need to repeat this pattern up here. Which is a little tricky. I definitely want the outputs to stay in the same place. Um, and do we just copy this? That appears to be one-off. This would go here, so we can't read this belt. Oh, no. Yeah, that looks right. Except this part would look like this. Actually, I, I can put these here so that we can see what we're picking up. Okay, so if that goes there... I think that means we do need to move this down a tile. I can't move them both in. I need to move one of them one direction. That might be okay. And this would actually look like this, after all. Cool. I think that's it. So 
a little cluttered. What are you going to do? So I'm sure we can fit it on this side. Actually, let me copy it like this. And I'll just bring that green wire across from here for the logic. Let me just temporarily do something like this. Until I decide where I want to actually put it. What's this supposed to be? Processing... Oh, that's the output. Why is it not... Oh, it is connected. I think I've... Whoops. I think I've made this part a bit more complicated than it needs to be. Oh, no. I copy-pasted across and forgot... Uh, that we actually need two belts up through here. So one, two, three, four, and then this goes here. That's easy enough. It's actually super easy. So again, put this here. And this goes here. This goes here. Uh, and this guy goes here. Now for the hardest part. So we're going to have to just not have the middle one switch recipe. And I think the rest of them are... You know, I could just have the whole middle column not switch. Yeah, that's a bit much. I think that's a bit much. Let's see if we can make this fit. So the outsiders stay in the same place. The, m the loaders here have to move. Pretty sure we have to go ahead and have the bare minimum belt for these. Let's update all of that. I know some of that's not needed yet, but I want to keep it consistent. And then... That's a little inconsistent. Speaking of consistency... That's kind of worse. Oh, yeah, no, I remember why I did that. Yeah, that'll have to do. Okay, so these ones go here. I think I can just copy-paste at least this much. need to be careful, though. Oh, I'm getting very confused. This goes here. This goes here. This goes here. Let's just copy it bit by bit.
Okay. Um. Don't forget the settings. Chest behind. Empty insert his hands. Wait for output to clear. Seems good. And don't discard fluids. These guys are just going to go here. That doesn't look right. Didn't we have an underground up here? We did. Oh, that's right. There isn't actually an underground here. Cool, cool, cool. That's fine. Which means... No, this one's correct. All right, all right, all right. So I'm not going to bother changing the recipes for these two, because I don't know how we're going to fit it. And then same thing up here, more or less. Probably copy paste this part. Maybe. Yeah, that part should be simple enough. Now, can we reach this down here? We cannot. We can reach it. I was going to say we can reach it across here, but evidently that's not the case. Uh, I can always piggyback off some inserters, and then we'll just make them unconditional. That seems fine. And then... Should be able to just mirror all of that. What's in the way? Wide area beacon. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now let's fix these wires. Obviously, this can connect across here. So we don't need this. Why are we making Holmium table? That seems a little strange. We are outputting the correct recipe. Should kick in in a moment, I think. Oh. That's weird. Where is it getting that signal from? Oh, it's not connected to this. Oh, you duck. Well, there's your problem. Well, there's your problem. Okay. And what now? They should all set correctly within 30 seconds. There we go. Why are you not rotated anymore? Ever since I did that copy-paste. 
That seems fine. Alright, so how am I actually going to connect the uh, green cables across here? I don't want to have to put down arbitrary power poles just for this. This side in particular is going to be more of a problem, because I could bite the bullet and connect these across like this. But then, what of these ones? Hmm, I think I am going to have to put something arbitrary there. Still, seems to be a fairly decent build. Why are we having trouble outputting? Oh, I know why. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So those will go to the other half of the belt. Now why isn't this one, this one running? There's no Holmium cable. Because I didn't put the inserters back in yet. That's a pretty good reason. Seems like they're all running now. So what's our max rate again? 201 per second. Well, apparently the bulk rail loaders can keep up with taking from this delivery cannon. So, delivery cannon chest, so not too worried about that. And it would take like 50 seconds to load a train load. We can definitely get a train here within 50 seconds. That's not a problem. Is the top left working? There it is. No worries. Yeah, I just happened to be fixing a different problem and I saw that. Uh, and yeah, these four can just stay on... Uh, these four, rather, can just stay on the recipe that needs Holmium Cable. So we'll get slightly less uh, processing units per second if we're if we run out of Holmium cable and switch to the other recipe. It's fine. Third column, machine five. Uh oh. Oh, that's supposed to be cable. I can see what happened there. So the, the blueprint was correct. Actually... Okay, I'm... I'm pretty sure... Why is there a blue circuit in here? Uh-oh. Why are there blue circuits in a couple of them? It was only the ones up the top, and probably only when it switched recipe. Didn't we set this to say... Wait for output to clear... Oh, the settings are wrong. Okay. Wait for output to clear empty inserters' hands. Let's make absolutely sure that all of them have the correct settings. So 
So I'm reasonably sure. That if we stop having Holmian cable and start and stop and start and stop and start, we're not going to have problems with the wrong items ending up on the belts or something like that. It should only be Holmium cable that ends up in these chests from the from the overflow stuff. I'm getting a little concerned though by those blue circuits ending up in there. On recipe change, does it empty to the chest? And that chest unloads to a belt. Yes. That's why it's so important that I have the settings for wait for the output to clear so we don't put blue circuits in the chest. Uh, empty inserter's hands. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe it's going to sometimes empty the, like... It wouldn't empty the output inserter's hand, would it? I don't know. I think it'll empty this inserter's hands into this chest. So if it's, like, in the middle of giving the machine Holmium cable, and it switches, this uh, inserter doesn't end up stuck. Okay, so now we're gonna allow Holmium cable to flow back in. And within 30 seconds it should switch back. What about the other items like reds and rare minerals? They go into the belt from the chest too, blocking the cables. They should stay in the machine. That's what I'm trying to test right now. We're just making it automatically swap recipes back and forth a few times. And looking out for anything other than Holmium cable ending up in the overflow chest. Cool, cool, indeed. Fat boy, not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Waiting for output to clear. I think that means it didn't swap because it was waiting for the inserter to get rid of processing units. Should probably not be red text for that one. That's like a, a minor error, like a warning. So far, so good. Let's swap it again. Back to Holmium Cables. What does the recipe swapper do? Um, well, the main point of it is to set the recipe. You can also read the recipe uh, from a machine. Um, and... The logic I've got here is just to check to see if we've got Holmium cables. And if we don't, continue making processing units with the recipe that doesn't include the Holmium cables. That's all. To facilitate that, uh, unless we want to delete items when we swap recipes, uh, we need somewhere for the items to go. Especially, well, in particular, in this case, just the Holmium cables, because that's the only thing that isn't also an input for the regular processing unit recipe. Interesting. Yeah, you do all sorts of good things with the uh, with this mod. All right, I'm gonna swap back one more time, and if we don't end up with any inputs in the wrong place, I'm gonna say this is working. And swap. Oh, I know. I, I thought of a good excuse for something to drag the cables along. We can make a display. I 
that symmetrical. Okay, this is going to be if processing unit greater than zero. And this one's going to be if recipe processing unit greater than zero. And then when we have Holmium cables again. Oh, that was fast. I mean, it refreshes every 30 seconds. It doesn't have to wait 30 seconds. But it's like 33 seconds or something. I, I set it to make sure it takes long enough to do a really long recipe before it changes recipes. Partly so that I wouldn't have to build that kind of timer logic into my smart crafters, and partly because I want it to save UPS. Cool, cool, cool. That's pretty good. I just wish I could think of something better than left side, right side, the indicator lights. It's fine. That actually seems pretty good to me. Let's do the LTN settings and stuff. Oh, uh, we will be wanting... We will be wanting to limit the... to set the train limit, I think. Set train limit to processing unit. Uh, if processing unit greater than... I think it's 10,000. Because stack size 100. Or rather, about equal to 10,000, because we're only going to read these two. And Holmium Cable, I'm pretty sure we're taking that up the space elevator as well. Um, I could maybe just... We already have a build dedicated to it over here. This one's just like a bonus to export to the to the rail network. And I don't want to have to do the extra station here to manage the um, to manage the train that takes cables up the elevator like we've already done over here. So I think I'll just let that one be a regular LTN train stop. How many things consume uh, Holmium cables downstairs anyway? Whoops. Holmium cable. Uh, Holmium solenoids. Yeah, those will be a pretty big consumer, I think. Probably something else. What 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 does FNEI have to say about it? Cable goes into Spellevator cable. That's pretty important. Um, all of this is done in space. We can make superchargers down here. That's Holmium cable. Wide area beacons. Not that we need them super fast. Shield projectors? Not that we need them super fast. Oh, Naquium processing. That's probably going to be really slow, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
efficiency modules. That's going to be a bit of a drain. Cool, cool, cool. So there's a few things that we're going to do exclusively on the ground that'll consume holmium cables. Alright, so I think we're just about done with this build. Cable. I should probably make this one higher priority. Since that way LTN will prefer to pick up from here rather than the build that also is supporting space. Uh, and we can definitely have short trains picking up the processing units, that's okay. Alright. Processing unit. This is a request of four red circuits, rare metals, and sulfuric acid for the sake of making processing units. And this one, plastic holmium plate. Uh, and we are making cable. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do our wiring and stuff. Looks okay. I wonder if we could do a different type of concrete here. I'm still never finding anywhere where I like the look of this uh, brighter concrete. Well, the um, reinforced, white reinforced plate. What about regular concrete? That's a little easier on the eyes, I think. How about stone brick for this one? Oh, reinforced concrete. Let's try that first. Maybe reinforced. And stone brick. Stone brick looks a little too sketchy. It, it definitely feels too basic for advanced assembly machines, etc. Let's go with the reinforced plate. And then... I actually want tier 3 modules in these for when we actually build it. And that's going to be like 4. Negative 70% power consumption. And the exact same beacon over here. So how fast is it going to be for now? 42.2 processing units per second, consuming 128 holmium cable per second. And we can just barely supply it, actually. Huh. Maybe I shouldn't make this a high priority pickup for the holmium cable. Yeah, maybe for the moment it should be lower priority. That'll make space our lowest priority for Holmium Cable, but that's honestly probably fine. Yeah, that should be okay. Um, get rid of the cheat inputs. 
And I think that's about it, except for the constant culminators. Sulfuric acid. Uh, advanced circuits. 200, 100 is one train load. Let's go for two. How much time would it take to drain? I should have checked this with the tier 9 modules. It's one stack every four seconds. It's not that fast. Uh, and rare metals. Stack size 100. Two train loads. Actually, didn't I say I was going to make it 1.5? Because they're going to both end up in here. Yep. Probably doesn't matter, actually. I mean, theoretically, we could end up with 200 stacks of... No, that should be fine. Say we end up with all of our rare metal in here, 200 stacks. We've had a shortage of red circuits. We drop this off. Half the red circuits are in here to start with. Half of them have to go through this 90 per second belt. We're only outputting the red circuits from two belts. So this will already be here, and you could think of this one as going to here. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. So as long as it fits in these two containers... Um... Yeah, we could honestly probably theoretically get away with like three train loads of each but i'll leave it at that for now and then over here we just need a plate and plastic 200 hundred and actually have the exact same stack size oh I think we are ready. I'm not actually going to include the concrete in the build. Uh, in the blueprint, rather. Crafting Combinator Blueprint Settings. Sometimes those get left behind. It looks like we've got the right number of them, though. 86.25.1. And still some infinity chests down here because I forgot about the output. And this is processing unit. Let's use this one and volume cable. have a little space between there so it's readable. Alright, let's update this thing at last. Where am I going to put it? Components? Here we go. Here we go. And I think I drained this already. I, I did not. Uh... It's going to be a little bit of a task to empty. Nemesis, Jamor, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Indeed, it is editor extensions that allows you to do that. And let's delete these in order. And theoretically, we won't waste a single drop. Oh my god. So much stuff. Let me out. Why do I have old chemical plants? But yeah, if you remove pipes at the edge of the fluid network. Wherever possible, it'll actually put the fluid back into the network.
I know theoretically I shouldn't worry about waste at this scale, especially considering that I'm all in on four fragments, but I can't really help it. Um, let's block this, then use rebalance, uh, what's, what's the mod called again? Uh, even distribution. We can use that to put that back in there. But if we make a mistake and don't leave room, we're going to have a huge spill. And then we'll just pick all of this up. Probably end up with a full inventory again. That's a lot of text for a Twitch chat. Hacks, I was watching your Onivod from yesterday. A couple of things that might help you with pip farming. Tame pips still plant seeds, so just got to have it in the room with them. You can lock a door and open and maintain the room, right? Yes, I know. I was about to abuse that. So you could open the door between your two pip rooms, and that way they can get to the growing trees rather than starving pips. Oh, they'll leave the room, but they still count as belonging to that first room? More junk to the storage boxes? It actually didn't turn out that way, surprisingly enough. Alright, we should... In theory... Be able to just place our blueprint now. What's this down here? A rock or something? That's the wrong one. Yeah, looks like it's only the bulk... What's up here? Only the bulk rail loaders that are in the way. And we'll need to manually redo this bit because bulk rail loaders, copy paste, it gets a bit weird. And we're going to need help from our construction train. There was never any doubt about that. Uh, give me these back so that we can place the prods first. Too late. Oh well. Um, rare metals can go back here. And I should be able to pick this up now. There we go. And let's get our concrete train involved. Uh, didn't we decide that reinforced concrete was the way to go this time? Reinforced concrete. Go. Fantastic. Are we actually done? No, we need more pipe. Actually, I don't think the construction train has any space pipe. Uh, but it needs to make another lap for the purple... Purple belts anyway. We'll go grab the space pipe ourselves. There should be some lying around in the mall, even if we've never produced it here deliberately. Nope. Alright. Uh, tell you what. Room James. Straight up to the other mall with a button press. If you're trying to do crit account, though, it might get frustrating, I see. Nah, it's probably fine. What I was disappointed to realize, uh, someone kind of spoiled it, unfortunately, but probably... My idea for a trapdoor to have um, a, a sort of auto wrangling 
it wasn't going to work. Or it may not work. We'll see. Alright, what are we looking for? I do need some sevens. Very convenient. Um, and I need some... Uh, a bunch of fives, right? I think that was... Well, I can check, obviously. Five fourteens, a three... Where's the three? Oh, it's over here. A three, a seven, and five fourteens. And a bunch of regular... Space belt. Alright, fine, I'll make a request. Then. Easiest way to have a... Logistic request that you can delete very quickly. Actually, I already have the sevens. And get this out of here. We've got way too many pipes right now. Literally just need a single three. And I've already got the fu Whatever, whatever. I'll just take him downstairs. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Down the elevator we go. I wish this thing would minimize corners. It could have done almost just two long straight paths there. Something to bear in mind when I try to place uh, different builds. If we must have builds that are far away from each other, supplying each other, we should try and put them in cardinal directions. How's our Vitalik Reaper been lately? Oh. Okay. It's still very spiky. Even though the bottleneck changed for a while. Well, it's a lot more than it was before. Uh, so I should... I forgot to bring the space pipe. Is that space pipe? That was convenient. Sergeant Numskull, thank you for the follow. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's update our blue circuit build. Or rather, hopefully finish updating it. I still need to reschedule the construction train again. Why does it have one piece of rail over here? That's weird. Uh, anyway, back over here, please. How much are we still looking for? 22. It should get done this time. I also need a couple of lamps. I don't usually carry those. Glass and iron plate. I just got rid of iron plate. Or rather, it's glass, actually. That's the problem. Do I have any glass just lying around nearby? Not really. Uh, fine, I'll go back to the mall for the lamps. Wait, I do have lamps. What? Logistic train stop input. Okay. We can fix that. That's, um... Uh-oh. Now it's confused. Um... No? Okay. It seems like the wire connections are there, but because the crafting combinators aren't, that's the issue. 
We actually don't have any crafting combinators, weirdly enough. Uh, we don't build them often, so it's not that surprising that I wouldn't fully automate them. There's 28, right? Yes. Yes, indeed. So what are we missing here? Holmium cable? I mean, Holmium plate. That's, uh... That's a little concerning. Why is the Holmium stopped? But we fixed this. Or is it just bursty? There's actually a train coming to pick up the, uh... The Holmium powder right now. And go. It's actually hard to tell these things are running. Well, they don't glow in any case. Okay, there's a little glow, but it's not much compared to the typical furnace. Oh, that is a slow recipe. It is making 250 per recipe. Hmm. How much is here, I wonder? Almost 60k. So then it'll make more ingots? Oh, that's very spiky. But there's a lot of area under the graph. Cool, cool, cool. We should get more ingots shortly. And plates should be about the same. Uh, for me, um, plate. Yep. So, I'm gonna go ahead and guess that we've got plenty of core fragments. I guessed wrong. Nope, there's quite a few over here. Okay. And then... Didn't I end up storing Holmium? Yeah, I don't think we ended up removing any of it, though. Holmium is saturated still. Uh, where's our bottleneck? Why do we not have Holmi Holmanite at the input over here? That is very curious. Oh, uh, I think I see the problem, which leads me to wonder where we've been getting our Holmanite from. Okay, I guess it's this old build that I completely forgot about for a while. Yeah, that's going to need fixing. Um, did we finish here? I think we did. Nope, I see some more... Thank, thank you, thank you. Johan Anderson, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, concrete train. Let's do that first before I forget. I kind of like the look of that on the map. It's cool. Uh, wait for 30 seconds of inactive. And... It was reinforced concrete, right? That seemed to look the best. And this right here is Holmium Cable. Fantastic. And our bots are already doing their best. Here they come. Much better. You can even see the inserters. Okay, so I need the construction train. Well, I probably don't need it, but I may as well hitch a ride. 
And it's possible there's something that I need that I'm not personally carrying over here. Uh, I think this was the place, right? Wait, what? 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 This was not the place. Where are you taking that? Oh. No, it was this one. Alright, 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 alright. Let's park over here and wait for me. And that little bit of rail there is obviously not needed. Okay, uh, I don't think we need this, whatever it was, station over here. What we do need is a LTN stop. Or I shouldn't have connected that first. Uh, it says it has no path, probably because there's a signal missing over here. Um, let me just switch this off. I'm going to find those three and send them back to depot. Cool. And then we can update the station name. All Midnight Provider. And that's all we need. Oh, so there should now be like three trains on the way here. And I have a feeling we're going to see a much more consistent production of crushed Holmanite shortly. Although it has been decent, uh, relatively, for a while. Because we've got this one processing the core fragments. So now, um, that deals with 48 core fragments per second. I think this one's the same. We literally just doubled, at least for a while. If our outposts can support 96 Holmanite core fragments per second, which I'm pretty sure they can't, then we've got a temporary boost, but probably a higher amount overall. Uh, I think we've only got verb tea still for Holmanite core fragments. Let's see, we have 13 drills on verb tea but 33.25 core fragments per second. If that's our only Holmanite outpost, then that mistake shouldn't have caused a bottleneck at all. Huh. I don't understand. Unless Holmanite mostly isn't getting taken here. Is this the same station name? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Yeah, the Holmanite core fragments directly from orbit do come to both of those. Hmm. wonder. Oh, we're actually getting 50. 50 Holmanite per second. The blue belt is bottlenecking it. Let's just... Let's just go purple belt everywhere here. Why not? Might need another trip to make it happen. Maybe not. Why did the bots grab Holmanite and stone? Why you gotta be this way? Don't die. It did not mean to pick up the bots. And core fragments? Rude. And 
around over here as well. Okay. Did we actually get them all? I think not. Back to base. Oh, wait. We need 49 in each cargo wagon, otherwise it'll reset the whole thing. Loaders man, they get the stuff from there, indeed. Um, and I was going to drop off a bunch of stuff stuck in my inventory. Uh-oh. Wait, where are you going? That makes sense, I guess. Oh, uh, it's going to pick up more random crap. Let me borrow this guy as well. Hello, rest of the peeps. So, JMO, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let the powder flow. Alright. Now I think we've replaced them all with purple. Fantastic. Might want to do the same thing over here. Even though we're going to have to deal with the same little headache. This time, the bots didn't get overfilled or anything. Send you over this way. Wait for inactive. And then do it again after you reload. Alright. Back we go. Oh, I forgot. I was I was coming over here to the construction train so that I could pick up the random fragments and stuff that it would pick up. I guess I'll just deal with it when it gets back to the the mall. Alright, how's our Holmium throughput looking? Brushed Holmanite. Yeah, that's about what I thought. I think we'll be getting a little bit more throughput soon. I need some... Some nice dark... Reinforced plate over here, I think. Thirty seconds. Because I keep expecting to see black reinforced plate uh, at the Holmium plate build, slash Holmium ingots. Also, let me try again. Let's push this back this way for a sec. We'll just half fill it and say provide stack threshold 100. And with the stack size of 100, we probably don't have to be that aggressive, but the point is, train doesn't need to wait for stacks, uh, for more than one train load of stuff for this to work. Oh, and here comes our plating.
Yep, looks like that works just fine. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, and where are you going with that? It wouldn't happen to be to the new build, would it? It would not. Should I prioritize it? Probably not, because... I'm honestly not sure if I should even bother at this point. We haven't had any trouble with basic resources for a long time. It's always something exotic. So it doesn't really make sense to make the fancier processing units just yet. Oopsie. Oh, that's a lot. Um, that's, that's a lot of processing units. I remember we already had some there earlier, actually. Only prioritize if it's rare? Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. What should we work on next? Um, let's send the decon train over there to grab those three bits of belt. And we probably need another trip or two to fix this. Why are we so short? I do and I don't want to separate this into two robot networks. It makes it so much easier, it's just the bots are a lot slower with recycling this stuff around. Well, that'll eventually happen without Without my doing anything else. Hmm. I can't have the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Wasn't expecting that already. I can't have the train emit a signal when it's... Oh, I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? What would happen if... Aziz Light? Aziz Light? Bots are a lot slower solution, more bot speed research? I think that's behind a type of research that is a little further away. They need to add research to up the robot limit. That'd be nice. Yeah, that'd be very nice. Um, so this might not go... Totally as planned, but I was thinking we could say close signal if S is greater than zero. So if the train is supposed to be getting loaded still, and I try to tell it to go over here, uh, I have to admit, that's the last thing I expected. The signal was closed, wasn't it? Pretty sure? Their battery, their speed, their capacity, power usage, stack size. Stack size only goes to four. Stack size is actually kind of annoying because it makes it impossible to have precise requests. Yeah, the the light is red, right? As in the train is not allowed to go here? Oh, 
No, it just changed. Wait, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, the light is off. And... The signal is closed. And then I give it an order... To move. And it just instantly doesn't care about that signal anymore. Uh oh, that's going to mess things up. What are we short on? Purple belts. Am I not requesting enough purple belts all at once? We're probably uh, not making enough of a reserve. A thousand? That actually does sound like enough. It's actually not trying to make purple belt at all right this second. Oh, right. Loaders are higher priority. There we go. We're out of heavy bearing. Uh, not enough iridium plate. Didn't I update the iridium plate? I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. How's our, how are our iridium ingots? Pretty consistent. Oh. That's Holmium Ingot. And they're closer together now. Um, Iridium Ingot... Kinda consistent. Where's the bottleneck? It's definitely not Core Fragments. That's good. Unless... Oh, what the hell, what the hell. Why are you trying... I know these have the same name, but why are you trying to deliver sulfuric acid to the wrong one? You are an LTN train, you should have known better. What do you mean, destination full? Oh, no. Well, there's your problem. Did you disable the stop? It has a train limit of zero right now. That's the problem. That's supposed to control the vanilla trains dropping off the core fragments. Uh... I can't get it to... I actually can get it to take this away. There we... There we go. Wait, what? Uh, I guess that works. Now it stopped. <laughs> Setting a temporary stop at the exact same spot made the pumps connect. Huh. I'll have to remember that little trick. So the reason we got so far without that being a problem is because we just don't go through much sulfuric acid for this. It 4.8 per second. That's going to last 12,500 seconds. 3.47 hours from that delivery. And that's assuming continuous maximum speed consumption of the core fragments. I think that's the only core fragment build where we drop off fluid. So I, I'll, I'll probably just make another drop off station so that it's separate from the the stops that are asking for vanilla schedules. 
as well as LTM. I wonder if there could be such a hellish planet that the attrition factor could be zero? Oh no. Why does it not have rail unloaders at the top right station? What do you mean? The block we were just looking at? Do you mean the, uh, the fluid unload over here? Yeah, I could do that as well. Would it... Okay, is it theoretically possible that we run out of sulfuric acid? Or not run out, but, like, get low enough to request a train. And then... All of these core fragment drop-offs are just full all the time from the other... Trains. I don't know. You know what? I... I kind of want to... I kind of want to run that experiment. It's also going to be more... It's going to be symmetrical this way, and it's less work to patch it. Yeah, I can agree with that with the robots. Alright, um, type this like so, and like that, and I don't really need to set a request for the fluid on this side as well. In fact, we don't even need to, we don't even need to, t to tell LTM that this is here if we're not going to request it on this side. It's literally just there in case... The train limit here is full all the time. Do we have another block processing Iridium core fragments? We do, and this one does have a fluid drop-off on that side. Okay. It's fine. Why is this an active provider color? Oh. Wait, what? I think this is because I was getting rid of... Because this is the old block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Need to remind myself. We're gonna get rid of that. So is that the only place we drop off Iridium Core Fragments for now? There's this one as well. All right, all right, all right. All right. Pipe's not connected to the new tank. Oh, man. Probably should have noticed that. There we go. Alright, I need some more water. How's our fulminate? Has it gone up? Yeah, there's more area under the graph over here. And these little waves are a bit more frequent. Last hour, 807, 808 volume plates per minute. 1.1k in the last 10 minutes. Cool, cool, cool. And then hopefully we can... There we go. Get some heavy bearings again. So how bad has Iridite been? 
because of that mistake. Trying to say... Uh, yeah, actually kind of bad for the last two hours. Alright then. If I was going to be serious, Sam, I think I'd, uh, like, set myself a timer to check on a build one, two, and five hours after I build it. Because certain mistakes take time to show themselves. And we're still waiting on that purple belt because... Because the heavy bearings haven't gotten to the mall yet. Oh, here they come. Right on time. Jamal, welcome in. Just ignore the builds until it all fails, the Factorio way. Oh no. Ask chat to remind you of something in X hours. Reliable chat. Yeah, this is one of the things I don't like about the, uh, the rail blocks. Just the fact that the trains path with, like, as many corners as possible. I'm not sure what the solution is. As in... I can envision one, but it would, it would be difficult. Actually, it might be too difficult. Um, but yeah, there's our superior transport belt again. Fantastic. What are we waiting for here? That's unusual. Warehouses. Since when did we get low on warehouses, of all things? I don't usually even need a warehouse. Honestly. Very rarely. I've never said we'd be reliable, but you are a streamer with plenty of viewers. It's better than no timer at all, I guess. We don't really need to load all this stuff. I just need the purple belt that I think is already loaded. Probably could have just sent the train to do this. Uh, what am I doing? Inactive. And then probably one more trip after that. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe I could do hazard concrete to show the core fragment builds or something like that. Make it a little tiny bit easier to navigate. In the meantime, I'm thinking... Maybe stone brick over here. It's a long train that's going to be blocking a roundabout regardless. By the way, you asked me 70 hours ago to remind you to check on reels. Uh huh. So, JMO, welcome in if I didn't say so. One sec.
Oh, I forgot to tell it to bring stone brick. Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy. Let's just send him back for now. Inri Inri, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Did the bots unionize, taking their damn time to unload? It's because that it's partly because they're only doing the stone because I didn't give them the stone brick. Twitch chat, does anyone here want to help jumpstart my Factorio new game? Good luck. Ellen Kyle, welcome in. Uh, you could probably try the Discord. Cast a net where the chat lasts a bit longer than 10 seconds. Um, so what should I... What's this? What's this flashy thing? Oh, it's busted. Well, that's no good. And there's actually some ghosts missing there. Now here's a build that hasn't been updated in a long time. But I'm pretty sure centrifuges are going to be the best thing we can use. I know, right? Why did it push it out here? There we go. Wait. Nope, that's definitely not right. Um, let's play the figure out where things go game. Don't know how that got over there. Um, but this is obviously supposed to have... I think it's supposed to be like this, actually. Yeah, that looks about right. Anyway, enriched vulcanite. I'm pretty sure, unfortunately, these are the best machines we can use. Enriched Vulcanite. Oh. Wait, no, that's Vulcanite processing. Um, for a second there I got excited, thinking for some reason we could use a mechanical facility. But no, if we want productivity bonuses, it has to be centrifuge. Uh, we do, of course, lack any uh, beacons over here. That would probably help. Why are we bonking? Minus 80%. Minus 80%. Minus 70. There we go. What? Who took that? Rude. Uh, and we could probably do better with the power poles. Anyway, this whole build needs an update regardless. Where Where is this getting power from? Oh, this guy on the side. That makes sense. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I guess this is more or less what the final build would look like. I don't know that we need, we actually need this many machines, but I'm a little sad we can't use a bigger, better, faster build unless we want to throw away our productivity bonus for this. Leftmost centrifuges aren't working. Missing undergrounds at the top. 
Missing undergrounds at the top. Are you sure it's not just that they're out of crushed? What did I just put in here? Construction box? Didn't didn't we fix Oh this goes here because redstone even reached that far. Oh, uh, that's why there was red stuff on the ground there. I'm not used to underground belts. I mean, they almost reached that far with K2. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not used to such short underground belts anymore. Fantastic. Okay. Did we get all those purple belts done? I think we actually did. And there's our stone brick. Beautiful. Fantastic. And we've actually caught up with the Holmanite core fragments. That bottleneck has been shifted. Beautiful. Speaking of... That's an awful lot of... Ooh, we have an island. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe we can make the most of this planet without clearing the entire thing of biters. Has the energy glaive been doing... I think the energy glaive has been exploring for us. Because I, I, I don't think I looked up here manually earlier. I think we just scanned this square out. Then I stopped the scans. And I left the energy glaive going. But yeah, maybe... Maybe we could just explore the coastline here. Does it say something about island planet? Frozen ocean. Yes, ocean. Ocean is something I should pay attention to in future. Oh, this is turning out to be a very, very big continent. Oh, no. Oh, no. Have we found Pangea? Well, it's still... It's still smaller than scanning the entire planet before we get started. So that should be... Uh, taking its sweet time to catch up. That's a pretty big island. We'll probably be able to get a decent number of core fragment seams. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so the energy beams have pretty much already cleared this much. That's pretty good. How's Nalvis looking? Still quite a lot. Uh, I, I mean, I did kind of sort of take the energy, two of the energy glaives off of Nalvis. It's going to take a long time anyway. Looking forward to being able to mark that as cleared, though. Um, but yeah, that's our endgame Holmanite planet uh, that we should be able to start exploiting relatively soon. 
We've even got a bottleneck up here. I could maybe take some laser artillery. And actually just manually clear what the beams haven't already in these areas. And set up a good old-fashioned bit of uh, turret defense. Maybe take advantage of those cliffs a bit. But we can only reach, like, let's see, one, two, maybe three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's a, that's a start anyway. I don't know if I'd really want to go this far with the actual... Core fragment seams, they're going to get further and further apart. I want to stop at like 20 or something. Just because we get less and less for all of the area. But I could maybe go over there and start building. That's a lot of biters. How does the theory of high threat equals low attrition hold up? My threat equals low attrition. I don't have any reason to think there's any correlation. You mean bot attrition, right? 0.51. Huh. Threat 100%. Attrition 0.51. Solar power is 85%. Huh. Robot interference win 0.1 by the threat 100%. That's on a small moon. Smallish. 0%, 0.1. I, 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 I'm not seeing a correlation here. Hmm. Lots of relatively small biter nests here. Maybe we could play with spidertrons. Where did I park him? Oh, I think he's in orbit. What my bot's doing? What the... What is this? Oh, is that just the broke... No? Why is this damaged? And why do we have no repair packs? This is part of that big robot network with the... Uh... There are repair packs here. Oh, there's, there's like an item back here. Yeah, there it is. Did I just not pick this up earlier? I guess, probably. We're dumping barrel still. That's not that surprising, actually. Hmm. If I ever do all of this again, I want to try and come up with a prioritization system for the spaceship dispatches. So we can deprioritize any type of core fragment where we're. Um, where we're crushing the one of the outputs. Okay, how can barrel not be full here? I guess it gets delivered over here. That makes sense, actually. That do make sense. The wiki's just wrong? Well, I don't really have enough data. I think you build wall while beam chasing the rest of the island? We might get scorched by the beam is the only thing. 
Why is research taking so long? What are we short on? Energy 3. That's not the one I was expecting, to be honest. Uh, we've got Energy 3 catalogs. Is there some mistake? Energy Science Pack 3. There's no Science 2s. There's no Science 1s. Oh no, it's all Holmium Plate. Okay, I guess let's start making our Holmium Outpost, our final Holmium Outpost. Let me just drop this off first. Supercat, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. I'll just double check that this outpost is working properly. It certainly seems to be. Anyone going to VebT right now, I don't suppose? Call me, um... Four fragments. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We have... We're totally saturated on Holmium Core Fragments over here. Literally our nearest active planet. But we're just... We just happen to not be... Dispatching any to pick it up. C is for cat, indeed. Ori and the Blind Forest. How's the stream, Siva? Veldak, welcome in if I didn't say so. Uh, where, where are we going? There are no ships ready to launch right now. Uh, but I was trying to figure out if the system is trying to send ships to Verbti. No. That one's not heading for Verbti. Do we just need more ships? That's quite likely, actually. We've got, like, a couple here. No, we've got at least three. Spaceships. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, probably less than that, actually. Because... No? Oh. Yeah, this one is not... These two are not haulers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, we do have nine ships. This one's waiting to drop off stone core fragments. This one is... Not reporting ready just yet. Why not? Because it's not fully refueled? Oh, you're joking. Um... We're not keeping up with Ion Stream for the ships. That might need attention. I hadn't even thought about that for such a long time. Um, Alright. I think if we double this, we have to double this as well. Oh no, it's time to panic, indeed. Uh, so let's see. This consumes 408 plasma stream per second. This only makes 272? Huh? Is it missing a beacon or something? No? Why did the ratio... I guess the ratio didn't change that much. I probably just built what fits around a beacon. So this thing is 272 plasma stream per second. This thing can consume 400. 
So that's not our bottleneck yet. Uh, I guess we make another one of these. Proton stream. Where are we even consuming proton stream? I kind of expected that to be saturated. Oh, have we got it set so that we kind of prioritize everything else? Somewhat. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, uh, how about... Another block for... Proton... Well, not Proton Stream. Um, Plasma Stream. Except I'll make the whole thing Plasma Stream. Where did I put it? Figure this out in a moment. Scaffolding train, off you go. And I should go upstairs. I prefer LCD or L uh, LED tech. Plasma is a bit outdated. Uh -huh. You just build what fits in a block. Sometimes, yeah. I kind of expected to see a better ratio for the ion stream. Um, all right, upstairs we go. Cathode ray tube. Let's go. Apparently we need more scaffolding. And we're going to need 24... Wait, no, we're not doubling the particle accelerators yet. Uh, we need 48 plasma generators, which is probably going to make chemical gel the bottleneck, but I'll worry about that in a minute. Particle accelerator... That's the wrong thing. Um, not particle accelerator. Partic uh, plasma generator. What does it stack to? Only five? But it's so small. The only way to play duck hunt CRTs. <laughs> Indeed. Can we fit this stuff? Uh, where's our... Where's our solar panels? Are we requesting... I think we're requesting them over here. Why is it all space elevator cables? Right now. Uh, we haven't had any trouble with space elevator. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, that's not too bad. Space elevator cable. That looked alarming for a moment, but it's actually pretty normal, it looks like. Yeah, it's pretty much already saturated again. I did set this thing as super high priority. Yeah, I did. Cool, cool, cool. But why did we just suddenly get a burst of space elevator cable 
being delivered here? I think it was probably this thing requested space elevator cable. We've got 3.1k, and if we've got 150 stacks... Yep. I think a train probably picked up space elevator cables from here. It's doing it again. Why don't you just pick up the space elevator? Oh, oh. Hmm. How much are we requesting here? 2.8k. So that's a little less than 150 stacks. But it's overshooting it. Hmm. How long has this been going on? This one's picking it up from the right place. A very small amount. Hmm. Well, anyway, I was wondering where these tier 2 flat solar panels were. We need 3k. We have 1, so that's not the problem. Uh, why are we not making... Because Holmium Plate? Everything wants Holmium Plate. Oh, no. We need Holmium Plate to make our new outpost so we can get Holmium Plate. Oh, no. And apparently it's all broken now. Rut row. Rut row. Sounds to me like T Hex has to manually go get nope. the Holmium. Oh no. Do I have any lying around here? Nope. I, I literally have Holmium core fragments lying around. Thirty one thousand? Uh, I kind of forgot about that. I kind of forgot about the 31,000 Holmium Core Fragments. What's the best way to get rid of these? Hmm. Hmm. How much can... Uh... If I carry 2,000 at a time in this thing, we're looking at 16 trips. That's a bit much. What if I put them in this thing? 40, 160. 10 trips. Wait, no, 3,200. Yeah, no, that is like 10 trips. Oh, man. I could add another cargo wagon to this and get it done in eight. Alright, 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 alright. We're going to go request a chest. We're going to move this up a bit. We're going to request all me four fragments. We're going to put the Holmium Core Fragments into the train. Mm -hmm. 
And we're going to change its schedule a little bit. But we're going to say, or... Let's see, up the elevator, over here. Or full cargo inventory. Or empty cargo inventory. And that should loop until it can't fill itself with Holmium Core Fragments. That wasn't so bad. And by dumping them into the mall, all but the last 150 stacks or something, should get automatically taken to the core fragment processing blocks. But first, we need to remove everything. Whoops. From the train. And we could probably do this as well. Make it a little bit faster. Seems like that should be fixed in 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm glad we had room over here. Oh, 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 that's one reason. That's one reason not to have quite so much, quite so many bots delivering the core fragments. Whoopsie daisy. Yeah, it doesn't really matter how long it takes to load, does it? It'll 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 be done as they say in 10 or 20 minutes. All right, and I was just about to check that yeah, we are indeed taking from the mall and delivering it to Core Fragment Processing. Very handy. I like how we actually ended up with a shortage of this thing where... Oh, we've already gotten rid of, like, a fifth of those core fragments. We ended up with 31k core fragments over here. I could actually tell it to get rid of the other core fragments as well. While we're at it. Um, core fragment, Imicite Cave. But the Holmanite is more important. But yeah, we can just leave that running until it's done. Then again, if it... I was going to say if it mixes types, it might not reach the full condition. Let's just wait and do one by one. No, no, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There we go. Alright, uh, I don't suppose... I think I'll set a higher priority. Because I, I really don't want to be without solar panels when we go to place them. Did this get built? Basically, yes. Um, did I switch all these off or something? No? How did the bots get like this? That's improbable.
issue before Holmeite was Ion Stream? Yeah, I was trying to find um, some flat solar panels so I could go and build this. Because they weren't getting loaded into the train and therefore it wasn't loading the rest because it loads one thing at a time and can't handle items that are missing. Um, I could set the provide threshold. Whoops, wrong one. Set the provide threshold low on this one. Trigger a delivery and then set it back. And that should get delivered to the mall. Which apparently it does. Why are there two of them if there's not enough for one train load? Oh, it summoned short trains. That might not work. Wait, where is that train going? Oh no. Oh no. Where are you trying to go? To the same place? Why didn't you just send a long train? Are they all busy? Maybe. Alright, there's our flat solars, and there's our train loaded, and it did have a room enough for all the plasma generators. Fantastic. Okay. So we want all of this, or most of it at least. Why did that just disappear? I thought it was saving or something. Oh yeah, I see why I combined these. The commonality of lithium. And then this feeds this. That makes a lot of sense. But in this case, I just want... Lots of... Generators. Let me just plop this in here. So I can delete these. And that'll let me flip it. And then this goes here. And we may as well do the exact same drop off. What is... Oh, there it is. I need the scaffolding train. Park yourself over here. So. And then. I guess this goes. Like here. Where's the middle, even? Whatever, we'll figure it out. Okay. Hmm. Why are we missing... Because there's only one station here. But why were we missing that scaffolding? Alright, put this right about here. And constant combinator. And this will be only for making uh proton stream. 
plasma stream rather. It'll still have exactly the same requests though, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do we need two drop-off stations? What if I double this? Which is what we're doing. We only need 10.8 lithium per second. And 54 chemical gel per second. We really don't need a second train stop. Should have checked that first. In that case... This can go here. to the copy-paste flip that I had earlier. Oh, I see. It's nothing but... It's solid in and fluid only out. Right, right, right. Right, 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 right. Seems good. Yep. Sort of... None of that, actually. Oh, we need it to pipe over here first. It is already connected. Convenient. Or it will be. How many tiles is this? Twelve. That's, uh, not a good number. Let's just do it like that. Doesn't line up very well with our three five eight uh three five seven nine length pipes. And is this thing on That should be it. Cool cool cool. We don't need this. And that should be our new stream build. Plasma stream. There's our lithium. Alright, I don't think even this can support this. Oh, it can. Slightly positive. Okay, a little bit more than slightly positive, but that's quite good. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, so lithium and or chemical gel is going to be our next problem. How much chemical gel can we make? Assuming we don't run out of inputs. 217 per second? This can consume 27? Uh, that might actually not be a problem. I think it would... I, I doubt we need to double this yet. Um, we're much more likely to run out of petroleum. Or maybe cosmic water. And we're currently deliberately not making more cosmic water because we're leaving room to recycle the contaminated cosmic. So in other words, it's saturated. Check up on Holmium Core Mole. Oh, the mole getting rid of him. Uh, fragment. We've still got 13k Holmanite. Four fragments. And down on the ground. Uh, 1.1. 1 .1. That's not even a train load. Cool, cool, cool. Good timing. Let's 
So we should now see a train schedule to pick it up from here. 150 stacks. We need uh, 3,000. Yep, there it is. And a request. And into the train it goes. I could set this filter for... All meme core fragments. And then... What's the other purple one called again? Immersite Cave. We'll be moving those soon enough. I could... Hmm. I could probably tell LTN what's in these chests. Since I'm only going to set requests for things we're trying to get rid of here. I wonder if that would help us get rid of... The... Well, I'd have to change the provide stack threshold anyway, wouldn't I? Yeah, I don't think that actually accomplished anything. Oopsie daisy. It's fine. Now then. I didn't fix it up so that chemical gel would find its way over here. Good thing the train didn't go back yet. And the output is actually already connected. Wait. Yes, yes it is. It looked like that was contaminated. Yep, those are all connected. And fantastic. Why does it think the fluid system contents are mixed? Probably because of these. That's okay, as long as they're not actually mixed. All right, cool. So hopefully, um, I really need this to be a higher priority. As long as we're still on ion ships, this has to be the absolute highest priority for plasma stream and for rare metals for that matter. That's a lot of fluids. So 12k per minute over the last 10 hours. The block is capable of double that. And we've now, at least as far as the plasma stream is concerned, uh, we're now able to supply it in full. So we should pr probably be okay now. It depends on if we suddenly run out of uh, inputs for chemical gel. Making 12k and consuming 13k? Yep, that's why that's why we need to fix it. That do be why. So I'm thinking we'll probably see a nice basically flat line. Um I don't know why it has those little tiny dips actually. Yeah, they all seem to be running full speed. 
these little little tiny baby dips in the production for Ion Stream. Oh, if we look closer, it's actually fluctuating a little bit all the time. Well, I think that's probably just because of when the recipes get finished. But I'm not sure why this looks like a perfectly flat line with downward breaks only in it. It's kind of strange. Alright. So hopefully we don't actually need more spaceships. The fact that we had so many waiting to land, uh, and I caught one waiting to refuel, definitely suggests that. Yeah, this one's waiting on an ion stream delivery still, even though it's almost full. We do have a bunch of catching up to do. Before they all start moving properly. Alright. We're down to 6k Holmanite core fragments up here. Fantastic. So, can I actually get everything I need? We're missing express loaders of all things. I've got some here. Are we not making express loaders up here? Oh, I turned it off. That's why I put this out to the side so I would notice it. Yeah, we got our solar panels. We've got our everything except for spare spaceship parts, apparently. Which we don't really need right now. Ian Noah, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's the next step after ion ships? Uh, there's only one more step after that, it's antimatter ships. Which, unfortunately, we need deep space science packs for. We also need three tier fours and a uh, matter pack as well. We already designed matter pack, except I haven't built magnetic canisters yet. Oh. We're still short on material testing packs. Wait, did I not request them? I did request them. Material testing pack. Yeah, we're actually not keeping up with that. Why is there no imasite crystal? Is it because our spaceships are busted? No, we've got plenty of core fragments, at least for the moment. Immersite... Seems to be working. Did we just finally place massive demands on this thing that we've been able to take for granted for tens of hours? It actually looks rather slow now that I look at it. Wait, 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 wait. This is... We get raw imasite directly from core fragments. Don't we have to turn it into crystals before this? Yeah, no, imasite crystal. Okay, then. And then you're missing sulfate, which is missing crushed, which is currently being processed from raw, which was probably bottlenecked. Yeah, it's wavy. Okay. Oh, it hasn't been doing anything for several minutes. Okay, why the dip now? That actually doesn't make sense. 
maybe it just finally caught up? No? Okay, this demands 76 raw imasite per second. Um, I'm pretty sure for the longest time we've been just living off these core fragments over here. And that's 63.36 per second. I saw this, this side wasn't working a minute, a minute ago. I don't know why. Do we need another train to bring this down? That might be it. There's one train in space right now. And unless I missed it for the timing, it just arrived. There's one on the ground and zero in space. Okay, maybe we should have another train to move these core fragments. Oops. There we go. Trains only. And build it right about here. Oh, that's the wrong place. Which blueprint did I just make? Oh my lord, that's a bunch of random crap. Uh, I I have no idea. Let's just let's just build that one. Where's our train? It's just arriving. Perfect. I'll write it down. Are there enough trains in the network to do all the demands? Uh, possibly not. I did add a bunch of them downstairs not long ago. They seem to be fine. Up in orbit, however, we've got plenty. Or at least... Yeah, no. We've got some sitting idle, both times. We might be short... Uh, I was about to say we might be short on short trains for fluid wagons. But this trip doesn't have to be a short train. So I don't know why it's defaulting to it, unless we're out of long fluid wagons, which might be true. Anyway, let's, uh, that was good timing, actually. Let's do this first. Oh yeah, I forgot, I have a little berth here for making these things. Give me some charged packs. And send you on your merry way. Fantastic. Alright, well, if there was a train bottleneck for moving purple core fragments, which there may well be, that should be taken care of now. How's our ion stream looking? 35k here, zero here, still catching up. Not too surprising. Ion stream? Yep, pretty much as expected. We're getting a nice steady float. Thought I'd ask the simple fixes first, indeed. Why are we bringing this here? Oh, I remember. Or do I? Probably not, actually. 
Oh, it crashed. That's why. Still haven't gotten rid of the old cargo rockets. I should really do that. Okay. And we're still short on... Nothing, actually. I'm probably going through way more Imacite, um making purple belts than I used to as well. I kind of went from barely using those to very, very much taking them for granted pretty quickly. How's our Holmium been? Uh, there's a very clear pattern there with the uh, ingots to plate, surprising no one. But it looks like we've kind of fixed it for now. Alright, how's our construction ship? I think we looked at it before, it's ready to go, right? This guy is finally not full. Fantastic. Let's make this... Uh, Imacite core fragments. And that'll all get sent downstairs. I'll have to manually let, uh, send it, I think, because this block, this stack here isn't full. Just once. That's why I didn't want to mix the core fragments. Otherwise I would have had to do this little build all over again. Where we calculate the number of stacks that are actually used up in the train. Even if, like, some of them are not full. That's a lot. That is a lot, a lot of biters. Damn. Energy beam has its work cut out. Where's our train? No, it's... No, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. No. Ah, uh, fine, make one more trip. But I'm not letting you leave this time. Needs more glaives? Yeah. That's Nalvis. Just that little bit more cleared than last time? You know what, I'd really like to finish what we're doing on Nalvis, and then just direct all the beams over here. We've more or less got what we need to make our little uh, defensive position here. It doesn't have biter meteors. And we can certainly clear this by ourselves. Maybe I should play around with some Spider-Trons again. I'd have to pro uh, uh, Do we have better rockets because of K2? I was going to say I need to produce some better rockets. Or some rockets. Uh, we've got Heavy Rocket. I don't think Spider-Trons can launch those. I'd be surprised if they could anyway. Spider-Tron. It can shoot plague rockets? Lol. I guess? Technically you can auto-deploy the Spidertrons from a... from a cargo rocket, right? So you could put a... Hmm. 
When you put the Spidertron in the cargo rocket, does it keep its ammo? Or would it have to pick up the plague rocket? I don't know if you could get it to automatically shoot at the moment that it lands or not. Probably better to use a weapon delivery system or something. I really wish we had more grid in the Spidertrons. Alright, let's go. Will Plague kill the Spidertron's fish brain? Oh no. If it had a f if it really had a fish brain, wouldn't it kind of wander around aimlessly? Feel the need to move all the time? Alright. Let's get into our ship. And we're gonna head over to was it Plato? Plato orbit. Seven minutes, 22 seconds, that sounds about right. Oh crap, did I bring the... I did bring the artillery. Fantastic. It's close enough to the sun to get a decent amount. 428% solar in orbit. Makes me wish you could terraform planets. There is one way to terraform a planet. It's only got one recipe, though. Let's put it that way. Trains out of fuel in Hagen orbit. But now it's not saying that. What? 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 I think we can send our construction trains back now. I actually forgot that I set up the scaffolding train with a similar loader. Out of fuel coasted into the station? Yeah, I can't imagine how that would have happened. TBH. Are we okay on green circuits? We are very, very okay on green circuits. I'm kind of thinking about doing a vanilla-ish megabase for the next run. I feel like it would actually be incredibly easy <laughs> compared to space exploration. It's just a much smaller scope. Which builds did not get the big beacon overhaul? Uh, there's a few of them. There's... Uh, lithium? The old... Uh, cargo rocket sections, which I'd really like to get rid of, actually. In fact, isn't that... A pretty big drain on barrel. It's barrel though. We're we're way ahead on barrel. Uh, glass. Huh. Concrete. Don't care. Uh, again lithium. Is there like an advanced version of the electrolysis plant? Nope. Two prod modules is as good as it gets. It's actually on tier two prod modules. And it consumes lithium chloride. Could probably fix that. Mm. 
ba Barotox, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And we'll send the construction train to pay it a visit. If I can find it. A hundred K SPM. Oh no. Yeah, there's actually quite a few builds that I haven't updated yet. And Singularity, thank you for the follow. Singularity Epoch, welcome in. Where else have we got? Holmium Cables. Well, those are actually extremely resource bottlenecked, so I don't care. Um, This is the old... Uh, four fragment build. Why are we not taking away the sulfuric acid? Provide threshold 5k. Provide priority 100. Oh, let's make it like 10,000. That should ensure that the next... Oh, this is switched off. That might... that might help. That should mean the next time that we need sulfuric acid, um, a train will come here for it. And then we can decon all this. We are 3 minutes and 20 seconds away. That's us right there. From Plato. And we'll start with the usual orbital build. And then use the space elevator so we can do some laser turret creep. Got some laser artillery creep. Fantastic. This is actually taking a lot longer to load than I thought it would. Let's try like 100 each. I just don't want to activate too many bots at once. There we go. That seems reasonable. Actually, we can probably just fill the whole thing. Well, that is enough bots to cause a crash, but not for long enough that it's likely to be a problem. Right then. I'm amazed at how long these iron mines are lasting. We're getting that much from our core fragments that we're just not chipping away at them anymore. There's also obscene amounts of mineral water on this planet. I don't think we'll ever need ores for that. I did want to... You know, if we're missing energy science, I could do some some more zone discovery. I do have just a just a little bit of hope left of finding a better planet to get coal from. What would it take to get to antimatter spaceships before we make too many more outposts. Let's see. Uh, it was Deep Space One, right? Deep Space One, Astro Four, Energy Four, Material Four. Literally everything but Bio Four. That's a lot of builds. 
we've already got the uh, the actual catalog builders, uh, which I, I could update by now. I could replace these with the uh, much better, but kind of expensive for the moment. Advanced research service. Um, but yeah, we've got everything to make the catalogs and the final uh, Astro Science Packs, for example. So we just need to do four data card builds for Astro, Energy, Material. That makes 12, discounting any prerequisites, like how we haven't built um, magnetic canisters yet. What does go into mag canisters? It is... Superconductive cable, but only one of them. Secure canister. Lithium sulfur battery and rare metals. I remember this. I was tempted to do it at the mall but I don't think that's a very good idea. Electromag facility. I didn't actually... All right, let me do this first. Plato orbit. Don't tell me this elevator's going to be right on top of this rock here. 0, 0, 0... Plato orbit is right here. Uh, yeah, it kind of is. I hope it's going to work. Cannot place space elevator on the opposite surface. Because there's some rocks over here. We have the tricks those out of the way. Picker dollies for the win. And place. Fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I don't love that we've got this rock around us. But it's fine. Let's Anchor over here. And just because I feel like designing right now, I'm going to set up bots to do the work for us. Even though they'll be rather inefficient for some of this. No, not like that. That's probably enough for to keep them occupied for a while, actually. Uh, robots. Go. Fantastic. And let's jump into the editor. Designer, please. Welcome in. Shinyi, welcome in also. How do you move those rocks? Uh, there's a mod called Picker Dollies. It lets me move objects around like let's jump into the editor real quick um so it actually preserves wire connections and doesn't mess with the settings of combinators and stuff like that um which is very very handy for when you're like refactoring and stuff or figuring out how someone else's uh, combinators work. So I'm just holding shift after I point at this and pressing the cursor keys. There's also a bind to 
rotate these in a way that you can't in vanilla. Uh, and it turns out with space exploration with the Navsat, um, it kind of, well, it effectively puts you on a force, on a team, that will allow you to move rocks around. You can also do it with trees, or for example, you could do it with yourself. Character will not fit. Fortunate. You can actually rotate him this way as well. Trees up. Awesome for circuitry. Yeah, it really is. Okay, what was I about to build in editor extensions? I think it was a space thing. Something science related. Oh yeah, we need to build canisters. And place that right about there. Get rid of this. You know what, just just place that all over again. There we go. And I believe it was Electromag facilities. Makes sense, we're making magnetic canisters. And I'm going to do what I've been doing recently, which is to design this for the highest tier modules. And we'll just put in what we've got for now. Which I honestly, as, as far ahead, as much as we were getting ahead of ourselves, I did a little bit of that a while ago. I wish I had stuck with it because I, I really don't like redesigning these things later on. Why does that have, like, an item request slot? That's weird. So we're going to need a bunch of speed modules, and I believe it's this many efficiencies. Why do we still... Why does it think we have no power? Oh, did I pause the game? Yeah, I did. Okay. I think... Numpad zero. Okay, then. More friendly than pressing C. Which is something fun in multiplayer. Plus, press R on your friends. More friendly than C. Indeed, indeed. Alright, that's covered. And when we blueprint, we won't have to remember it's there. There's no fluid IO for this build. Um... That looks good. What kind of rate are we looking at? Very tame. I mean, that's a lot of superconductive cable, but... Um, well, how many canisters do we need? Let's say... Let's say that one day we're running our... Uh, magnetic... Uh, matter containment data at full speed. Which I doubt. Well, let's aim for like three per second. We need 12 canisters per second. That's not that much. Uh, that's actually too much speed. We want to save power. 10.8. I think I will just do the obvious thing here and... Put that over there. Oh, we're kind of out of space. Hmm. I know I can move this 
couple of tiles closer. How many inputs are there? Four. Well, how slow are they? Real slow. We could do a sushi belt. Did someone say excuse for sushi belt? Yes, indeed. Let's go. So, so what's the entire block? Four twenty ones in and f one twenty one out. So that's like eighty something per second for input. Oh wait, how how fast is the deep space belt again? Also, how much of it do we have left? Deep space. We've got like 300 if we want to mix colors, 200 if we don't. Hmm, that might be a problem. It does do 90 per second, just like the purple belts. I didn't think I'd be doing sushi with deep space belt, but here we are. So for the four inputs, we're looking at 86.4 per second. That's kind of perfect, actually. But we can't really use the same belt for output. Also, I think... It might end up being too much. How much is this? 42. Maybe not. Maybe not. I know we've got some undergrounds. Wait, how fast are they individually? Like four per second, less than that, between four different resources. That should be fine. And then, like this. And then, like, that doesn't actually work too well. Snake. Down, up, down. We need to recycle. Uh, I could perhaps do it south on both sides over here. Maybe? I think I'd need to merge rather than force it to one side of the belt there. And then, let's do the standard. Oh, I actually wanted to use fancier plating, didn't I? Space. Um, and then we've got... And I'll drop off over here. Oh, that's not going there, is it? Whoops, whoops, and furthermore, whoops. So, something like this. I just heard snake and immediately was thinking of princess snake. Indeed. Alright, uh, superior inserter goes here, and here, and here, and here. And so on. And we'll do input like so. And like that, I guess. Pretty sure these are the only long arms we need. We've got six, right? Yeah. It's 
So we need four different inputs, which means we can't fit them all in one bulk rail unloader. Not unless I want to... Oh, we've got exactly four, you say. Hmm. Superior long inserter. Do we need a fluid? We don't. I could probably honestly just use one of these. No, I don't think the superior long can move 84 items per second. Uh, let's see. It's 1296 degrees per second, which I believe is 3.6 rotations per second times 12 stack size. It, this can move 43.2 items per second. So we're looking at 86.4. It, it actually only has to keep up with half of it. But wasn't 86.4 exactly this? You're joking. That's actually exact. Lol. Uh, so if my math is correct, we need exactly one superior long inserter to move half to move the stuff from the front half of the train into this one without overfilling it so that any one resource won't be in this container. That's kind of wild. All right. Um, so we're going to set filters blacklist, but we're going to have a constant combinator. Actually, what if I just set filters blacklist? Could it be that easy? If we ask for a train load and a half of each thing, what are the stack sizes? 50, 50, 50, 100. Okay, we can ignore the 100. That's like a little bit less than half a stack per second. for each of those three resources. Which means... Uh, 2.3 seconds times 100. 231 seconds to replace any one of these once they get down to... Well, 231 seconds per train load. Yeah, so we could just have a train bring stuff when we're down to half a train load. Superconductive cable is first. Um, 7,500. Should be a train load and a half. Secure canister, which I think I need to make another build for. I think I already baked them in the mall, but we certainly don't want to have to deliver those at scale. Well, it's not that fast. Plastic, glass, heat shielding, steel plate, copper plate. Uh, what does it go into? Bloat burst ammo, life support, mag canister, pheromone dart, med pack, and nothing. Hmm. Can I get away with just using the mole to make the su uh, secure canisters? It looks like we're already doing that. Let me go search for... signal. You can manufacture a nothing item? Yeah, you can destroy items if you want to get rid of them. Here it is. Yep, we are indeed using the mole to make secure canisters. So if I just order it to make 150 stacks, uh, 150 times 50. 
Isn't that 7,500? 7, yes. That will probably be more than enough. Either that or... Well, okay, if I make a dedicated build right here for the secure canisters, it's not going into anything else in the rail network, right? Bloat burst ammo, life support, mag canister, pheromone dart, med pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would it take um, if we had a little space manufactory over here? Probably very little. I mean, we could certainly easily fit more than the auto crafter can do. I don't suppose I could. No, couldn't fit it under here. Let's just maybe not use a beacon for this one. I imagine one or two of these is going to be all we need. How fast is that? Five per second. We would need five of them. Huh. That means the mole won't actually be able to keep up. Okay. What if I put another beacon over here somewhere? How much power do we get from these solar panels? 56, uh, give or take, because there's like overlap. Okay, if, if all of its neighbors Three, four. If 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 every tile, if every rail block has stuff in it consuming power, can we just say that one fifth of whatever these solar panels produce kind of goes to that block? 885 kilowatt. 56. 76 megawatt. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that more than pays for a couple of wide area beacons in each block. By a lot, actually. This actually lines up perfectly. Also, would you like the mole to be nearly constantly making canisters. Yeah, it's a bit higher scale than I was expecting. So I think we should do a little dedicated build for this. Which isn't going to go to the rail network. That gives us 10. 10.5. We just barely need more than two of these. Ah. <sighs> Maybe I should just... 400 kilowatts, or... 12 megawatt. Slight difference. Slight difference there. Okay. Fine. We'll do four of these. Now how should I lay them out? I'm thinking... Something like this. How many inputs do we need? Five? That's kind of rude. Uh, holy crap. That is fast. And it makes scrap, so we actually do need a pickup station over here. For the scrap. That was a lot more than I was expecting. So, how overkill is this? Very. Wait, two of these are overkill? No, two of these are 
just a bit too short. That's mildly upsetting. But if I make three of them... If I make three of them, I can't make them symmetrical. No! How about this? Uh, whatever. Okay, I'll probably have to... They'll probably have to be spaced more than that, actually. First of all, we need a drop-off. Hold up. If we need five different inputs... Well, technically we can fix... Uh, we can fit six train loads worth of stuff here, but since the throughput is so high... Half a stack of heat shielding per second, almost three stacks of uh, steel plate per second. Oh no, sorry, one and a half. Almost one and a half of plastic. Less than one stack of glass per second, and almost three for copper plate. Hmm. 2.8 plus, 1.4 plus, 1.4 plus, uh, 0.7. Plus, let's just call that half. 6.8 stacks of stuff per second need to be delivered. That sounds like kind of a bit much for one station. Um, what if we don't do that, actually? What if we even have three drop-off stations for six items? Oh, sorry, for five. If you have, like, two or four here, you can still get some from the mall. I guess. It's better to have one less item that the mall has to produce very often anyway. Especially since I've only got four machines here, and it's... It's a design that works much better if we've got, like, eight. Uh, eight machines is much, much better for making sure we don't, like, not make something because all of these are blocked because they're missing some resource. I did play around with a prerequisite system, extra logic and stuff, but it adds up to a lot of combinators and gets messy and stuff. Oh, we've been doing zone discovery. Um, kinda missed out on the notifications for most of those. Because we were in the editor. These zones have been found, we just haven't been told about them. Hmm. So where's this Orion? Too far away to go directly to it, too close to the sun, if we're using the anomaly to keep the journey short. And not a very good radius, and also we've got a uranium planet lined up. Um, how about coal? That was what I was more... In oh, that's a lot of... A lot of terrible options for coal. Well, we've got some 7% in there. It's just that the radius is very small. What about the big radius coal planets? They're all way closer to the sun. Ender is... okay. At both radius and distance from the sun. All right, back to the editor, even if we do miss some more notifications. Oh, and while I'm at it, though, I should probably get the bots to do more of this. There we go. Gonna need the 
same thing over here. And don't forget these signals over yonder. Okay. So I'm going to want some drop-offs here and here. And the layout for this is going to get weird, I think. Maybe let's put this one as far up this way as possible. Oh, it's even more than a space belt of input. Three belts for copper, two belts for everything else except for heat shielding. Good gravy. Unless, of course, we've got more room, f uh, we've got more deep space belts left over. This is 81, 10, and 1. We've got 200 yellow left. I think we can do it. Wait. How many, uh, undergrounds do we have? Twenty, so ten pairs and ten splitters. And another one of these over here. Fantastic. Your sushi belt isn't recycled yet? Yeah, I know, but it won't be too much more. It's on the scale where I fully expect to have enough yellow belt to make all this work. And I could maybe consider using yellow belt for these, but that's really not necessary. So let's see. Copper, copper, copper. Uh, glass, glass. Plastic, plastic. Oh my god. Steel, steel, and we need a different side to input. <laughs> we need ten belts. Ten belts to input everything fast enough for one machine to make 10.5 secure canisters per second. That's kind of a lot. That, that's just a little bit extreme. Maybe I should try to do it with... Well, I'm not going to have the deep space loaders for now, but we can certainly build it as if we're going to have them later. Um... So in that case, we're looking at two belts for copper and one belt for everything else. Two, three, four, five, six. Easy peasy. When you use up the item on the left, do you get canisters back out? Use up the items on the left. We get mag... Oh, right, 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 right. I think for this build, it consumes them. I could be wrong. I, I'm... No, I, I don't remember having to recycle them. Yeah, it turns them into scrap or something. But yeah, normally when you use magnetic canisters, you get them back. If you use them, you know, like barrels. Um, but that's not what we're building for right here. I can always just use the LTN network to... to recycle these. Just make this one a low priority pickup. Easy as that. Well, that that's not the only step, but it's pretty much pretty easy. Stack. Uh, we can definitely have short trains pick this up. Throughput's going to be low. Even as we try to go crazy with this, it's going to be quite slow. All right, so how about one drop off for copper? 
and one, two, three, four. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, let's do it this way. We're going to set filters blacklist. And we're going to take everything out. Where did I want to put it? Heat shielding steel plate. And go up here. And over... This way. It's going to be plastic and glass. Whoops. And over yonder. Just copper. I guess I didn't need any fancy test inputs for this one. In in fact, literally just could have done this. That that's good enough. Oh, it's an unloader. Nope. Never mind. Don't mind old man T Hux just missing his meds. There we go. That actually was lucky. It went for the copper first. A build, indeed. Been playing Minecraft too long? A machine farm thingy that makes sense? Baby Mango, welcome in. I don't know what to feel, I just spent 40 minutes on my first automatic robots. Cool. Uh, all right, so we want, I would like some, I, I would like to have a direct line for some of these, if I can. I could maybe output one like this as well. Needs to be filtered, of course. Uh, space belt. Can I upgrade plan this? Nope. I'll just design it with space belt for the moment. We know how many belts we need for each. And then this guy over here perhaps? And this guy won't fit here. Okay. So you've got your plastic and heat shielded. Wait, what? Oh, this... Yeah, I need to filter this. Uh, plastic. Heat shielding. Glass. And... Steel plate. And copper, I guess, could go... We need two belts, right, for the copper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it matter if we don't balance? Possibly. Are you making everything on site or are you pulling in intermediates from elsewhere? Uh, I'm pulling in all the other intermediates from elsewhere. It's only the canisters that were the uh, 
secure canisters that we're making on site. I don't think we're going to end up having the room to do this the way I want to. Hmm. I should probably... Uh, I should probably balance and split. Might cause problems otherwise. I was asking the mango. Oh, right, right. Okay. It is hot. My water is empty. How's our how are our bots doing over here? Oh, they they even finished that. Cool, cool, cool. Should probably get this sorted out before we get hit by a media. Zone discovery is finished. Did we find any more coal? I should probably have a priority system where I mark all of these. Any any of them that I've looked at. That might be a better idea. Uh, Mitrion? Did we look at that before? It's okay. Good radius and okay distance from the sun. Regulus. Regulus system. Here it is. Yeah, that that adds a lot. Like a good 10 or 20% distance for the overall trip. If we're using the... Wow. I said it before, but we know where we're going if we ever need more Imacite Cave core fragments. How many biters are here? 33%. All right, back to the build. Um, actually, let me queue up some more research. Why not? How could I possibly lay it out if I'm going to... Well, I could use a shared container for... Actually, no, I couldn't. Not with the throughput we're going to be looking at. What's our overall throughput for the slower stuff? Two belts. And one belt for heat shielding. Maybe the best way to do this would be in a line after all. No, that doesn't even reach up there. Three point five belts of copper. In other words, four. But each of these individually need more than one belt. Three point five belts in total. One point one seven belts each. Okay. So they each need two space loaders. Well, deep space loaders. Um, just for copper. Do we really need to balance them? I don't think so. We just need to make sure they all saturate. 
I could just do six belts coming out of these. That'll keep it simpler. The UPS. Why not? I'm going to hold out some degree of hope that we're going to have enough yellow belt so that all we have to do later is add the loaders. On second thought, I really don't care if this thing's going to be a little bit underpowered for the moment. It's going to be way more than we need. But the sushi absolutely needs the super fast belt. You know what? We really don't need that underground there. We just put this back here. And the other inputs. Just one belt of each type is fine. Okay, so four to three. How do we split the. What's the total? Two belts. So we should take one from each. Oops. Hmm. What's the neatest way to do a two to three splitter, but we don't care about balancing? Probably using a container, honestly. And we need to do the same thing over here. And we need to have our outputs. Oh, and we need to deal with the scrap as well. Also, that's 21 items output per second from each machine. Which is a little bit faster than I was kind of expecting. Secure canister. Why aren't you making more belt? What do you mean? Oh, the, the deep space belt? We can't. It's, uh... You need some ridiculous amount of science. At least deep space one. Deep space two, even. Yeah, you have to be only two types of science pack away from the end of the game. Uh, to be able to make the deep space belt, but we got a bunch of it for free. Okay. Uh, and then this one is going to be scrap. Our max rate for scrap is less than one belt. Fantastic. Let's go space splitter. Actually, how much was it? Even at maximum speed. Uh, well, that's more than half a belt. It's less than half a belt for two of them, so we don't really need the splitters. If I could just make this output to only the opposite side of the belt, that would be very convenient. Just thinking of the neatest way to do that. I think I should just use inserters for this part. So those two... Well, one of them can go on the opposite side. It's fine. Uh, 
about how about this one? And as for scrap, it, that's the exact same rate, isn't it? It's a shame it's more than half a belt for each. Well, I guess we could use deep space belt to deal with it. It seems overkill, or not, considering... Considering we need room for the other bills. Okay. Long arm inserter, perhaps? Might be a good way to go for this. Easy enough. And all of these need to be filters, actually. Filter, filter, filter. Secure canister. And scrap. And the scrap needs to go down here. Give me another chest. Is it okay to limit this? 140 stacks would take... Uh, divided by 31.5. 444 seconds to fill. That should be fine. And high priority pickup. This is for strip. Uh, and this is for canisters. Fantastic. Um, so this is going to go up here and get put into the input for the sushi. Um, we need two belts total and only one belt individually for input for all of these other resources. One, two, three, four of them. Wait. Yeah, yeah, we need more than half a belt for everything but heat shielding. These are individually. So, one, two, three, four. That can certainly work. Assuming we can find room for it. Which is questionable. Hmm. Lots. Plastic. Oops. Let's say we have glass and plastic go here. trying to visualize the belts. Maybe I could like offset these by two. Yeah, 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 this is kind of more what I was thinking about earlier. One, two. Uh, and then the copper input would go there. And then... Does that help? This goes here. Is 
that free up much room for the other stuff? And more importantly, does it look cool? Uh, obviously we need this. So far, so good. This is going to be a bit more of a mess now. Canister. Like so. Could I have like a repeating pattern with this? I guess I could do it like that. I don't love that. It's not that bad, I guess. And then, of course, we could put some undergrounds here. So that we could easily have the... The scrap, uh, scrap output. Like that. Consistent, I guess. And then over this side, we have our inputs here. So then, that goes there, well maybe this one first, or maybe this one first, except it's getting stuff from the side here. That should go there. This is going to get complicated. I could always put the steel and uh, heat shielding into this one up the top. This build turned out to be much more of a pain than expected. Hmm. Sure, why not? I presume we need more than one belt between these two. Yeah, we do. Just a little bit more than one. Hmm. Isn't it one belt each for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just need these to find their mark. I have a feeling this is going to turn into the most egregious spaghetti. So this could go here directly. Uh, maybe move that up here. 
a little bit. So that we can still have this output from here. Is that a problem? No, I think we can probably... Probably do the same thing we did over here. Only it's plastic and glass instead. So glass goes here. Copper's the only one that needs more than one belt per machine. Wait, that's wrong. Um, this would go here. Right? This one's actually got everything already. One, two, three, four, five, six. These two go to this one. This one goes to this one. This one goes to here. This one goes to here. These go to these two. Considering... We've got like a third more than we need, almost. Maybe we don't even need to balance it. It's always the... oh no, I was going to say it's always the front of the train that goes to this one, but that's not true. I guess it doesn't have to be, actually. If the back always goes to this one... Yeah, that might actually work out without any fancy rebalancing. And then this one up here. About... about this. So this would have to go like so. Okay, so what happens if we provide exactly a train load? Um, or like two train loads of each resource at a time. This one will run out twice as fast as this one. These two should run out at equal pace. And this one runs out faster than this one. The one that runs out faster goes to these two, goes to these two. And when it does run out, that should trigger a train delivery anyway, because we're probably going to have, like, yeah, we, we have room to request two train loads per, no, it's going to keep piling, yeah, it's going to have a balance problem, I think, because it's going to be delivered balanced, but then it's going to draw from this faster. I could have an, an I could have it push stuff from one to the other. From the slower one to the faster one. So this will be plastic, this will be glass. And we can make that conditional. Yep. 
if plastic less than I don't know one stack if glass less than one stack same thing over here and copper copper gets drained equally if all three machines produce equally which they don't I'm pretty sure this one will drain slower than this one, just not as severely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like that. Um, heat shield. Steel plate. And copper. And copper. Oh. That should fix any balancing issues. At least to the point where it won't block a train. Wait a sec. Uh, it's more that we have to empty the one on the slower, right? Ah, crap. Why not make a double belt on the right of the machines and pulling one lane to each machine? Uh, I was hoping to avoid that. I might have to, though. Except I would have to, like... The thing is, no, I would need a triple belt. No? No, we only need two belts worth for everything but copper. Hmm. Thing you left at copper less than zero, not less than 100? Indeed. Okay. Yeah. I think... So if we make sure there's some in each side... If this drains slower, we push some to here if this is empty. We'll never end up with it. If we're only asking for like two train loads, we can fit six. We'll never end up with all of it in this side. That should be fine. Well, actually, uh, we, mm, I was going to say we don't have to worry because we can fit two train loads in here, but if it's not getting consumed, that would be a problem anyway. Sorry, four train loads. Two train loads of each we can easily fit in one bulk rail unloader. So that being the case... That being the case... Uh, I can't tell if this would potentially have problems from train imbalancing. It would. It would eventually. I think it would eventually sort itself out, but it would spend a lot of time going slower than necessary. Fake humanoid, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, if we only need two belt. Okay, we need less than one belt of heat shielding. We need less than two belts of steel plate for the whole thing. We can try bussing it. Do we have enough room to buss it? That's the question. Well, I guess we can do all that up here, actually. Probably. Let's 
it's actually trickier than it looks. To take from one belt is very easy, but to take from two, we actually need two splitters. That's a lot. What a mess. I only need one more belt for the last part though. that mean we just do this yeah that might be it okay we only need one belt total for the heat shielding We need two belts total for the steel. We can maybe just take that from both sides, put it to a splitter. And push heat shielding through here. Does it matter if it all ends up in here? 150 stacks? Don't think so. Alright. Set filters blacklist. It doesn't look too bad, I guess. So we got two belts coming in, which is going to be 180 per second, which can keep up with all of this. Uh, we take from this half. Well, we take from all of it, basically. And yeah, that should be fine. Now, can we apply that over here as well? It's going to be the exact same stats, except that for plastic and glass, we need two belts. We just need to find room for like a belt from here to here. I kind of liked having that direct insert. Oh well. Let's see. So it needs to be this for both of them. Hmm. 
Is that even possible? That needs to go down here. And this needs to go here. And that goes down there. And then we just have to somehow find room to connect those up that way. Can I move this? Kinda. Well, this could just go straight here. So that needs to be two belts of one or the other, uh, and so does this. Can I walk that around a little bit? some kind of little crisscross thing here, don't we? We need plastic and plastic. Let's forget these for a moment. To find its way over here. And glass. Spaghetti monster. Glass and glass. I mean, we can make it work. It, it's probably just going to be hideous, that's all. Let's check that it works at least. Supposed to be plastic and glass. Seems to be alive. I don't want to be able to see what's going into it here. do better with the positioning of those last two splitters. Also, what happened to the plastic? Oh, I see.
Why don't you put a big box to balance the train? I wanted to take straight from these this time. I would need a 4x4. Four four. Well, technically I could do it with a 2x2. Two two. Hmm. No, I don't think so. Alright, let's make sure we delete this scrap. Which is already approaching a train load. We should be able to just do some pretty standard... Uh, LTN requests with that. I could put this down a little bit, and then this goes here. And get rid of that. That actually looks a bit better. Oh, this is going down here, isn't it? Which means this could be here. Right? Oh, that's better. Uh, that's an improvement, I think. And how about this for the look of it? Much better. these a bit further down, put this here, bring these down, that definitely looks better, I don't love this bit, maybe I could make the plastic go in the top here, what up? We haven't been consistent with what goes where here anyway. So, glass like this. These two go down here. And the plastic just goes like this. That's better, I think. Could I put this over here? No, I don't think so. Yeah, that's good enough. Alternatively... That seems a little tidier. Yeah, I like that better. Cool, cool, cool. Now we can finish working on our sushi up here. Um, so we're only going to be dropping off three of these ingredients. Superconductive cable, rare metals, and lithium sulfur batteries. Uh, I think we calculated that even if the canisters were here, this thing would be exactly fast enough to move them all from here to here to keep up with this. One, two... Uh... Maybe I'll just put this here and use inserters, we'll see. 
now then. Um, I want... Let's just do some test input over here. Oops. Fantastic. And weren't you supposed to be setting filters blacklist? Oh, we ended up with this crap in here. You're still picking up lots of stuff. Why? One, two, three, three types of thing. Okay, cool. Um, I could just belt the canisters straight in there, I suppose. I could make a little exception to that pattern, put this here. Bring our canisters over this way. It's full. How is it full? I didn't limit it. That's why. Set filters. Blacklist. Delete. Put it back. Don't forget to connect to LTN. And we're just going to say canister less than half a stack. Oh, that's wrong. Secure canister. Seems good. Now, the number of items we consume is, whoops, uh, 86.4 per second. Uh, that's 7.2 swings per second. In other words, exactly two superior filter inserters. Set filters blacklist. That should be able to keep up with precisely um what this consumes, except I think we'll probably have to offset a, a little bit so that we don't actually go to zero before we put more stuff in. So I'll add a constant combinator here. And we'll just say... Rare... What are the resources? Superconductive, secure, canister... Uh, lithium sulfur battery. And rare metals. And we're allowed, uh, let's say 200 over 4 is 50 stacks of each. 50 times 50 is 250. Uh, 2,500? Yeah, 2,500. It's probably super unnecessary, though, to put that much in. Let's just say 500 of each. Oh, but we, are, we can connect this to LTN, so it's not going to bring any more than we really need. Alright, sure, 2,500. Oh. There's our sushi input. Or it will be once it decides to stop focusing on one resource or the other. Um, I think we need two of these. actually.
and then we take... Oh, we need one to one to one to one. We need to do some sushi belt. Um, can we just go one, two, three, four of these? Table. Canister. Battery. Uh, where's the battery? It's not this battery, it's the other battery. Lithium sulfur battery. And rare metals. Uh, and I think we'll actually get the ratios that we're looking for if we do this. We don't need to be too fancy here. If it's one to one to one to one. That should be all we need to do. Just let the splitters merge them in. One, two, three. Why, why does rare metals repeat twice there? What? Did I set the filters wrong? Cable, canister, lithium, sulfur battery, rare metal. Cable, canister... I don't see any lithium sulfur batteries. Oh, did I not... Are they not in here yet? Well, that's why. Okay. I'm pretty sure these inserters can keep up though once they once they get there. A little slower than I would like though. Why do we have seven lithium sulfur batteries? Do we really have to get to 2.5k before it starts putting in the lithium sulfur? Oh, I see what it's doing. The inserters are picking up like one secure canister at a time. That's why it's so slow. Okay then. Maybe I should just move it down a couple of tiles so that we can have the belts to control this. I mean, there's nothing else. We don't particularly need the space. Right? How fast do we need each resource? Uh, half a belt per second. Half, half of a space belt per second. Cool, cool, cool. Or four filtered inserter? Well, the the trouble is... I, I guess... Yeah, I would have to... Instead of set filters, put a different enable-disable on each of them. But we may as well do this. Um, so, canister... Less than... It would help if we put a filter on this, actually. Shouldn't canister be second? Yeah, let's do that. Superconductive cable. Battery. Battery. And rare metal. I'm just going to ignore the fact that the rare metal has a bigger stack size. 
I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, so for each of these, we actually don't need a space loader. Because the individual resources only need um, less than half a belt per second. Cable canister battery rare. And that should give us, once it settles down, canister, uh, canister rare cable battery, canister rare cable battery. Nice. Easy peasy. And then if we put it on the superior belt. Or the, the deep space belt, rather. And then just merge it back up here. And let it back in. Hmm. Do we need to be able to recycle it at full speed? I don't think so. It's only going to be the dregs. Um, that are going back into back into here, right? That looks kind of strange, the way that's moving. And our rate of production is less than half of a space belt per second. Alright, so we're going to do this. Seems good. And of course we'll need to do the sides as well. I could just merge the sides up here. since it's only ever going to be one belt. Hmm, that's a little bit in the way. Don't really want to have to use another... How, how much belt is this, by the way? For the fancy stuff. 89 and 15. Why is it 15? Why an odd number? Oh, because of this. Pretty sure we can afford it. Deep space belt. 220 and 10. Fantastic. Oh, and this guy's finished as well. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. No more core fragments. Literally zero. There weren't even any other types. Fantastic. We've actually already gone through all those Holmium and Immersite cave core fragments. Or so I thought. Um, what? Why? Oh no. I need an arbitrary train limit here. I would have to add a constant combinator. Why didn't you go to this side before? Oh, there's no signal. Oh, well, there's your problem. It wasn't actually because they couldn't drop off. I mean, it, it was, but for a different reason. It's all the one train block. That's why. Why wasn't the train unloading fully? Because I didn't have signals in the middle. This was one block. So the train could have unloaded here. The train limit was greater than zero. But... 
there was a train quote-unquote blocking it. With slides, yes indeed. Fantastic. Well, I'm surprised with that little gem that all of our purple core fragments did get disposed of. I hope our spaceships are doing okay by now. We got Iron Stream, 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 we got Iron Stream. Beautiful. That's what I want to see. IDDQD? Esnick? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, the fact that we've got 168k in this 200k tank, and all of the spaceship uh, iron stream drop-offs are full, suggests to me that we're just catching up with this. I'm getting Doom flashbacks? Indeed. All right, so we won't be needing you. And oh yeah, I needed to do the outputs. And and I guess. Something about the way the items move on this belt makes the frame rate look slower than it is. Kind of like how the purple belts look like they're going backward. Mm, I guess we can just do it like that. It's fine. It's fine. And we could probably bring that down on this side. I just returned from lurking, but I'll only be here for another 30. I'll actually be finishing in like 40. I think I can make this look a bit more streamlined, just like we did in the other place. Much better. Much better, actually. Yeah. You know what? I kind of want this to go here now. looks a little bit tidier. And sushi go burr. I level AoE 2 soon? Age of Empires? What? So, despite the fact that the sushi belt Kind of looks a little bit weird, the way it's moving. I mean, we are merging... Huh. I just realized maybe we didn't... I wonder if we didn't actually need the deep space belt. Because we would need the deep space belt if it's going all the way around. With this uh, 86 items per second, whatever it is. But it's not. It's going down this column, and then up here, and then down this column, and then up here. I think we actually only need a space belt, because this side can support these machines, basically, and this cut side can support these machines. Yeah, I don't... Well, okay, we do need the undergrounds, unless we want it to go over here.
But in terms of belt throughput, I don't think we actually do need the deep space belts at all. Let's find out. It's not going to be difficult. If I bottleneck it there, that's actually all we need to do um, to check if that's enough to keep the sushi going. It's just going to be more space on the deep space belts. One of the two best RTSs currently still alive. I was never that into AoE myself, but I'll take your word for it. Alright, well, where would we put the... The regular belt. We're going to do that. We can move this guy up here after this. Yeah, I think this is pretty straightforward, actually. So by the time, like, this would bottleneck, except we're already taking stuff from the belt. So by the time it gets there, it doesn't need that much throughput. Supreme Commander? Yeah, I liked the Total Annihilation Supreme Commander stuff myself. They were the only RTSs uh, that I'm aware of anyway that ever bothered to do aircraft properly. And artillery... was actually simulated. And this goes up here. This can go here. That should be it. Hmm. Is it bottlenecking because it's bottlenecking, as in because the belts, or because I just like fixed it? And there was a backlog of stuff on the belt. So, half of these machines should have been able to take what they need by the time the belt gets here, right? Which means we only need half throughput for this part. Which means white belt should be enough. But I'm seeing a lot of... It's very slow to get started. Because so it's looking for the right equipment. It keeps taking too much of the same thing over and over again, and all the other machines are doing the same thing. So it's taking longer to speed up, which means the other machines are getting their inputs slower. But it does seem to be getting into a positive feedback loop of going faster. Because more machines are coming online, therefore we're taking more stuff off the belt. Therefore, there's more room for stuff on the belt. Therefore, this merges in at the proper speed. It would probably help if, like, this part back to here was deep space belt. But theoretically, according to the math, all of these machines should be able to run at the same time. 
but can you get them to actually start and run all at the same time? Forged Alliance? Uh, no. Didn't Forged Alliance forever. Didn't know that was a thing. What if you limit the inserters? Hmm. That's actually a pretty good idea. We only need one of each thing. Well, they're going to take what they need for like three recipes anyway, so maybe we should set it to four or something. Actually, I'm not sure. If I set it to one... Well, we can try it in any case. Yeah, I don't think this is ever going to quite manage to go at full speed. Hmm. But I bet it would if we spend a bit of yellow belt. But now that we probably need way less of this... Um, We could probably use whatever color we like. I linked it on your Discord general channel for you to look into later. Nice. Also, Night Dancer, welcome in, if I didn't say so. Big Bertha Artillery and Total Annihilation? Yes. Absolutely. I remember later on there was the, uh, each faction had a, like, rapid fire, long range artillery cannon, but competitively it was garbage. Um, imagine, I, I think the core version had about the same range as the as the regular ones, which was good, and it wasn't that much faster, but it was still pouring way too many resources into just one of these things. Um, and the arm version was like shorter range, but way, 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 way faster and consumed literally all of your energy instantaneously. And the core one, for that matter, pretty much did that. Um, like, you would have to... It would have to win you the game. And your opponent would have to not scout it. Basically. If you aimed, like, five tiles away, it'll try to aim higher. Yeah, 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 I remember that. I would tell it to aim, like, one pixel ahead. And no accuracy. It would rain down everywhere? Yes. Yes. The buzzsaw, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those things were just... How, how many times... Like, how, how many um, Big Berthas could you afford, uh, afford instead of a Vulcan? I'm guessing, like, 10 or 20? Hmm, it still doesn't seem to be... Oh, are we bottlenecking on the canisters? Why? There's no steel in here. That's, that's why. Set filters blacklist. Right. Oh, well there's your problem. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What a silly thing to be bottlenecking on while we're trying to debug this thing. 
Well, in that case, for science, I'm going to put a little piece of white belt right here. Uh, and we're going to find out if... Um... Well, actually, no. Let me do something a bit more visible. We're going to make this a space splitter. Uh, and if all of these come online, we know that we don't actually need any deep space belt here. It's always, I'd always play the largest metal-based map for unlimited metal, then worry about energy and just build artillery and aircraft. So whilst I'd have the big berthers uh, ranging them, I'd send hundreds of hawk aircraft to overwhelm them. Yeah, hundreds of hawks were crazy. If you could, if you could get that critical mass, you could fly them over anything and have it vaporize. I think I remember the last competitive game I played, um, my opponent may have raged quit. Oh no, wait, this is Supreme Commando. I think I remember winning with a gunship, like one gunship as early as possible, like five or ten minutes in. Even with the high level of automation, as in a thousand times higher than any other real-time strategy that I'm aware of. Competitive RTS play, sadly, pretty much just comes... Hey, they're all online. Oh, for a moment they were, I think. Uh, it doesn't really come down to strategy. It, it very rarely comes down to strategy or tactics. It's far more important to be able to click faster, to be able to get your economy going faster than your opponent. Supplies and logistics. Strategy versus APM. Yeah. Like, it was, it was really more of an arm wrestle who could build faster than any kind of outwitting your opponent or anything like that. More often than not. The inserters in the center aren't limited yet? Uh, probably not. I don't know if they need to be, but we can do that anyway. I'm also not sure how much setting it to stack size 4 is helping. I, I want them to pick up... Like, if they're going to... Okay, here's my question. If I set it to stack size 1 and get rid of all, everything in this machine, yeah, it's going to keep going, like trying to stack up more of superconductive cable as opposed to picking up other stuff first. So I think stack size 4 is probably the way to go. It wants to have a reserve of 3 recipes for everything. So this way we have it pick up a little bit as quickly as possible and then move on to the next resource and not spend all of its time picking up like 12 secure canisters that there's no secure canisters for another machine down here. We've got like most of these active. I think we do need the, the deep space splitter. Are we keeping up with the canisters? Hard to tell, honestly. Seems to be bottlenecking on steel again. Why steel? Was it just because it was steel is what it was behind on? But why would it bottleneck on steel in the first place? Oh, right, I forgot. These these are all supposed to be deep space belts later on. Um, but we can expect 31.5 per second out of this. When we do upgrade to deep space belts over here. I, I'm just going to do some cheat input for these ones. So that we can check 
I, I think that may be the actual the actual problem right now with the sushi. Not enough canisters. Yeah, that's that's a lot faster. Hmm. Still not getting the canisters in here. Is that how it is? This is never getting close to zero, so the inserters are going as fast as they can. Huh. I could have sworn we did the math and found that this was enough. Is it because they're picking up small amounts of... No? No, we're never down to 12 or less on any of these. Hmm. That's weird. We need 86.4 items per second. This does 12 times 3.6 times 2. 86.4, it's exact. It would be a lot more comfortable if it was faster than this one, than what this needs. Oh, here we go. We've now got a stack of secure canisters in here. So it should all work? In theory? Oh, they are all working. Nice. Alright. I think this is the position from which to bottleneck it with space belt down here and find out if we actually don't need any deep space belt for this build. Or at least not on the left side. Why not just run the canister into the warehouse? Um, where am I going to fit the input? Oh, right here? I'll just move this over. That's a good idea. That's a very good idea. That is a... Not missing the trees for the forest. Simple, clever answer. Nicely done. And... right. Now it can easily keep up. Elegant. Sehr elegant. Albion line, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, that's a lot of machines that went offline, but... Oh, right, because I stopped with the canisters for a minute. Okay, okay. I'm going to I'm going to put the deep space belt in here until they all go online. And then I'm going to put the space splitter back and see if some of them switch off. I think the answer is in theory mathematically um if all of the inserters and machines behaved then yes just space belt with this layout could keep up but because of the erratic way they grab a bunch of different resources um, to put into the machines we're going to end up with like clumps which make it not possible to keep up because we're not going to have full flow up this way That is my supposition. I think as soon as we see... Ooh. I think if it's not going to work... We, we, we seem to be starting to see this already. If it's not going to work, then the belt is eventually going to back up to here, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think it's... It, hmm. I can't quite decide. It... Seems to be backing up further and further. I think it is. Yeah. It's definitely backing up further and further. Also, this one's already offline. Alright, cool. There's our answer. That's a pretty neat build, though. Now we just need to... Oh my goodness. I blame the stack limit of the inserters, the inside ones. I did set them to four. Same as everyone else. Can you build those deep space belts? No, I can't, but I've got a few of them. More than a few. Okay, let's uh, grab our space and trim away what we don't need and maybe add a little bit back in for the look of it. That actually looks kind of cool, or well, bits of it do. I don't like those little squares. Neat. Maybe... Maybe like this? Ooh. That actually looks kind of... And then over here, perhaps? No. Need to get rid of the test inputs up here. And those ones can stay, I suppose. Finish building all Astro data cards from observation frames to catalogs. I'm just connecting resources now. It's am uh, it's amazing it all works, at least for now. Good luck. You obviously don't need this. All right, let me focus on the easy bits first. Definitely like that. How much? How many uh, ministers of ho? That's kind of a lot. That's good. Yeah, I definitely like the way this side looks already. So it's just this tangled web in here that we need to pay attention to. Don't really like this little bit. Let's just fill that in. And maybe like this. And maybe like this. And maybe like this. A bunch of little diamonds. That part looks kind of wonk. That's better. And... Like so. Maybe like this. I want this to be a little diamond as well. Oh, that's all wrong now. 
Oh no, what have I done? Oh no. Why is it gotta have this little chip in it? Um but yeah. I don't necessarily like this part. Cool, cool, cool. Let's blueprint this thing. Remove all the test inputs. These actually do belong here. Set filters blacklist. I think these stations are already set up correctly. need any fluid. Uh, we don't need superconductive. I nearly said superconductive canister. Uh, we need lithium sulfur battery and rare metals. Lithium sulfur battery. What is that stack to? 50 rare metals. Pretty sure that actually needs to be a different number. Because that's only 75 stacks. Um, what am I doing? Times... 150 times 100. 15,000. Cool, cool, cool. This is... Questing, going into mag facility, and out comes canister. That took a lot more than I expected to build. And we are requesting, uh, what was it, lithium batteries, superconductive cable, and rare metals. Dardano, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. And this is a request for a heat shield and steel, right? Uh, which goes into a menu factory to make canisters. And I think we can just request a couple of train loads of each. 1500. Probably. Oh, whatever. Two train loads of each. Um, 200, 100. Seems good. Now I just need to do the same thing for the last two over here. Give it some signals as well. Don't forget any other signals we may have missed. Alright, so this is just copper. Wait, let me just copy the station name. Copper plate, uh, and this is plastic and glass. And then we just need to do the requests for them. I could ask for six train loads of this, but uh, three is probably more than sufficient. Hmm. 
I don't think we need this now. Probably. Doing well, how about yourself? Not too bad, thanks for asking. We do need it for the heat shield. That's the only one. Alright, so this is looking for plastic. Two hundred, hundred, and what was the other one? Glass. Cool. Don't we go through the plastic and glass at the same rate, even though the stack size is bigger? Yeah, we can probably put bump this down to like thirty k or something, or even twenty k, but that's only one train load. So, one and a half. They'll both request at 10,000. Be fine. Fantastic. I think that's it. Alright, let's build this thing before we finish today. Feel productive no matter what else is happening. Mag canister. I guess I forgot the modules. Whatever, it's fine. 8625 one. And I believe I did get rid of all the cheat items. I'm just going to remove the request for modules. We can just place those in as we go. Nope, I've changed my mind. It's going to be a pain. It's going to be more of a pain. If I don't do this. Efficiency plus speed. Negative 70% power consumption. Fantastic. And something similar over here. Uh, with more efficiency modules, no doubt. Plus 90% power consumption. And that one actually puts us on exact... Wait, what? Hold on. Did I misread that? Plus 90% power consumption. Okay. And we have 50% transmission efficiency. Minus 100% energy consumption. So, Oh, right. This one. So this is plus 40, and this is minus 50. So this... Net is minus 90%, which means we're at exactly one times power consumption. And then we're at negative 80. Fantastic. Do we get a good ratio with that? We do. Cool, cool, cool. And how much copper, etc. do we need? 114 per second. Yep, our space belts will support this. Nice. Perfect. Beautiful. Wunderbar. Subarashi. Uh, canister. Bad canister. 86.25.1. And I believe that is that. Now, where should I put it in the... I guess under components? I'll put it next to superconductive cable. Now, where do I want to build this thing? Um, We need canisters here. Or here, rather. 
what goes into the canisters? Rare metals, lithium batteries, lots and lots of copper. I'm thinking I should put it here-ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Copper pickup is here, so we can make sure that's a nice short trip. Let's put it here. You're joking. I forgot the tiles. I forgot to click tiles. Oh, no. Everything, please. There we go. Canister. Canister. Bag. Canister. Tiles, indeed. Don't you have better efficiency modules? Uh, I do. It's just easy to get the train to place this right now. I don't have that many of the higher tier modules yet. In fact, I should probably check how many I've got. I, I completely forgot about that as a drain on our resources. Let's see. We've got 83 other than the 36 that I'm carrying. Ooh, almost 200 prod 6s in here. And 55 speed 6s. Yeah, I dare say that's where all of our iridium is going. Maybe I should turn this one off for a little while. That might be a good idea until we get on top of our resources again. Uh, I'm also carrying 55 prods and 27... Oh, sorry, eight, uh, 77 speed sixes. So they are semi-precious at this point. Um, but yeah, let's try that again. This time, sans cringe, and get our construction trains over here. We need a bunch of, well, we need zero of these, three of these. And I think it was like 24 of these or something. Let's just say 50. Assuming that we can fit that, which we can't. It is 24, actually. Nice suit. Are we loaded or what are we missing? Requester chests? That doesn't sound right. Train is full for some reason. Mm. Not sure how that happened. Save so much time. You just reminded me I do not have auto save on. Let's not lose so much time because we didn't save. Just open the old one and go update blueprint. I can't um, with the bulk rail loaders. If they're not facing north south, they they get cut pasted or updated or whatever facing the wrong way. They also tend to, like, if there's already loaders there or something, and you try and put a blueprint over it, uh, it won't connect the wires. you got to be careful with those. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's a, it's a pretty big pain. It's like a luxury when I can use it. So did I just configure this to hold too much stuff, or did something happen with... I don't know what actually. I don't think we need that much space belt, do we? 600? That seems a little excessive. 
see how much room is left in here. Twenty-seven efficiency modules. For some reason, I think I know the answer. Forty-nine. What? 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 For Why are we trying to load forty-nine efficiency modules? Yeah, I don't actually have any efficiencies up here. Whoops. We've, we've literally got 27 left right now. Okay, well, now the train is loaded. Let's bring it over. And we should... Uh-oh. We need more scaff. Probably set it to a setting where it wouldn't finish it. Unless I just asked for too much plating. Please wait here. Until we're ready to place that blueprint. How's your outpost doing? Pretty well, actually, I think. Did zone discovery stop as well? Uh, yes it did. We're out of... Something. Probably. What science packs are we missing here? Oh, rocket tech cards. Really? Well, we knew it would happen eventually. Um, I need to actually revisit... Well, not just revisit. It does need an update. I mean, look at this thing. But I don't believe I ever actually got it activated. Yeah, products finished zero. Lamel. Because we were working off the backlog of a lot, and I do mean a lot, of rocket tech cards from Nalvis. Um, but I never actually made satellite telemetry on this planet. And now that, now that we're here, um, it's time to replace all of this, so this build never actually did anything. How do drones grab things from the train itself? How do drones grab things from the train itself? Uh, do you mean the fact that K2 lets me use some power armor equipment in vehicles? Yes, indeed. I noticed some of those roboports were empty. Uh, were un had no charge, that is. That's a lot of bell. We're probably going to run out. Already got trains on the way. Four trains on the way. And... Apparently not copper. That, that would be a first. Yeah, we're not short on copper. That's, that's fine. This is fine. There's our steel. And indeed, we do need to go back for more belt. Uh, and also the deep space belt. 32 and 1. I'll try putting it in here, I guess. Yellow. 30. 2. And 1. I hope we have room for it there. We do. And the only thing we're trying to cram in still are the efficiency modules that we don't have. Nice. -o. Let's put our tag over here. Uh, 
And I guess I can put secure canister here. These guys have path. Fantastic. It might be a bit, little bit wonky depending on the ordering that the belts are made. But it should sort itself out regardless. Should be a self-correcting system. Even if one or the other container drains first. Is there a separate video for setting setting up a construction train? Uh, I didn't go to the trouble of making a highlight or something. Um, but I guess I could make a tutorial. So what are we missing? A little bit of belt, I imagine. Yep, nothing else. Fantastic. That's going to get done with no further action. Um, can we maybe get rid of that yellow? Put it back where it belongs. YouTube part 2526 for trains? Nice, thanks BG. That reminds me, I probably missed an upload or two. I wish I could fully automate it. Why are you... Why? Why don't you go to the other station? Because apparently it has... What if I just always set these two to train them at one? We've got more than one train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It might confuse LTN from time to time. Nah, that's fine. Enable train limit one. Or even just... Nah, train limit one should be fine. Do not set train limit. Hello, spaceship. Enable train limit one. And here they come. I guess the spaceship dropping off more fragments would have sorted it out as well. Actually, is this guy even technically parked here? Yeah, he is. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. That works. I still haven't built this freaking outpost yet. Got a little distracted. It's fine. That's the wrong blueprint book. Here we go. And I guess I'll let the bots place what they can. Okay, where's our build? We did it. It's working. Yes, fantastic. Let's limit this to one train load. I think that would seem to be a good idea. And that is the last build of canisters we will ever need. Beautiful. Alright, let's see who's streaming Factorio for today. We will be continuing tomorrow and the day after. But for now, we got Rain doing an SE playthrough. Mr. Dane, SEK2. I think it's been a minute since we raided him. A hundred times multiplier. Ouch. Anybody else? I can see doing SE. 
plus S A. Roughly long. How much does a chat need a train? How much does chat need a train tutorial? Uh oh. Thanks for the stream. You're welcome. Thanks for hanging out. Everything else as well. All right. I think we'll drop in on. I've actually dropped in on Dane a lot of times. Let's give this person a chance as long as their quality is okay. Oh, they're right at the start of the game, though. That is very slow. Background sounds a bit much. Actually, you know what? It's been ages since I dropped in on Mucky. Let's do that. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. Take care, Evil Plow. Thanks for hanging out. Beldak, Ian Newer, BG Nymond, Night Dancer, and everyone else as well. Take care, Own Galaxy. Uh, yeah, if you're into, if you want blueprints or anything, check out the Discord. Uh, till next time, stay safe. Let's go say hello to Mucky. See you tomorrow, guys. Hey, T Hack, take on my. Thank you for the ride. Hey, T Hack, take on my. Thank you for the ride.